Hi, Hurley. It's just for you. It's all for you, baby. <laughs> I was going to say, we could do a good intro and I guess start now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, Hurley, also YouTube. Uh, we <laughs> we're doing our Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Twin Lock Nuzlocke. Uh, for those who are familiar with the rules, we're not going to explain them. Go ahead. Nope. No, I was going to say Twin Linked Nuzlocke, which is wrong. <laughs> It's a twin lock. It's, a twin it's lock. on the it's on the overlay. The text is above my head. Yeah, it is, isn't it over there? We, I yeah, mean, we no, I twin linked was a thing for Warhammer 40k that my orcs had on their guns. You look like a ghost, like a like a rosy cheeked ghost. You look like Casper with a mustache. Mm -hmm. That's fairly accurate. <laughs> Which I mean, that's fine. Uh, so that, I that is how I look. I'm much quieter than Law. I'm much quieter than. How about now? Is that is that fresh? I can also crank the gain a bit. Is that goodness? Do you feel good about me now? Nothing's gonna change on my end, so it's all on Stylus and Hurley to let you know. How about this? Give it to me, fresh babies. Give me fresh children. Oh. Oh. That's not a great sentence. Give me fresh children. <laughs> You're, you're looking more and more like a ghost with every change you make, by the way. <laughs> well, I'm back got, to where I was. If you, Oh, okay, okay. If you've got a color filter, you should take it off. I don't. Okay. Uh, so I specifically didn't look at what my uh, Pokemon was going to be for this egg that we got. So I'm about to get it, but I don't want to do that while we're still doing tech bullsh. I'm good. Let's close this little window right here. Oh, shit, we can't do the fifth with Dave because apparently that's the Renaissance Fair. Okay, I didn't... We gotta go to the Renaissance Fair. I have never been. Never been. It's down in Canby. Huh? No, I know where it is. Yeah, Canby's the place. That's one of the reasons that we're doing the thing there. We should do that. We should do a Dave Day down in Canby at the frickin' Renaissance Fair. Well, we could throw it out to him, see what he says. You, My you, only... You look like a vaudeville 
You stopped me in the mid. You stopped me mid edit. <laughs> oh my god, you look, you look like a guy yeah. going to his funeral in the old west. You want default? This is default. Why is it? Why does your default look so different than mine? Mine's like fresh and colorful and bright and good, and you look like a dead man. I just wanted to show you. I mean, what you've it looks shown like me. I don't actually try to fix it. I mean, the, I will say the default did have its qualities. Uh, yeah. God, this is such good content. I, I get now why everybody shows up for these, you know? I'm into it. I'm drinking Earl Grey tea out of an Ikea mug. Did you have to bill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Mr. Me. Mace. Mr. Mace, yeah, you're watching me. What else would you be doing? Watch, you're watching the shit out of we. Now, now I'm all confused. Is it, is it that unbelievable? Seriously. My auto's focus is on and I hate it because it periodically just makes it look like some, like some dickheads fucking around with the camera. Maybe they just never tuned in before. Maybe. Ah, you're listening to the show non-shop. Non it's non shop. We, we don't we don't shop. Never. Honestly, I, I felt like something. my brain saw non shop and I'm like, that's gotta be like a new TikTok thing, right? Like like sheesh and no cap. Like hashtag not non shop? God <laughs> I don't know why why is your camera so bad? Like I don't understand why is it just the lighting? Is it like It's not that bad. I just did a lot of fixing. I guess but there's like no contrast, and so it's just like this vague gray shit. Oh shit! Egg time! Egg time, babies! Egg time! Egg time! Give it to me! Egg, g g g give it to me! It's 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 it's. Uh, okay. I'll take a go go. You got a go go? I'm not that excited about it. I guess I can do some run run around. Oh, and I also I failed doing what I'm doing. I also failed to do the thing. You don't have a camera right now. Where did it go? It's gone. It, it, you know, it heard me talking shit, and so it just was I, like, I whatever, I'm so. out. Game over, chief. I got the goat, which I'm not super excited about because we've had a lot of go-goats on our team. Yeah, more than our share, I'd say. Yeah, just a stack. Yeah, that's that's full default, baby. Full default. Woo! Well, I mean, I'm not saying full default. I'm when I say default, I mean just check the auto boxes and let them do their job. Okay. Nope, that's not auto. <laughs> it weren't. Okay, okay. Your contrast still seems high, but this is middle of the road. There you go. Victory star it has, this beautiful goat. The Oh, the ability that's you Wait, no, that's actually good in double battles, isn't it? I'm saying. I'm saying. Interesting. Isn't I feel like we've had that in the past and been like, "Oh, that sounds cool." And then be like, "Oh, that's dumb." Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like the whole team got an accuracy boost, but I think it's just him and whoever he's with. Which, I mean, we don't even have, like, a pair for this, right? No, I think what we were saying we were going to do is just let it slide in wherever it fits and kind of swap something out. Mm, okay. That's fair. I think. Don't quote me on that, but that seems like something we would say. I mean, sounds believable. I might want to zoom in a little bit. I was going to say it also, like, defaulted my fucking tilt and everything back to a weird middle-of-the-road area. Yeah, I think it's probably because your um, your lights are very blue. You've got daylight bulbs. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that I do. They have a slight yellow filter to them. Okay. I suppose. Weird. Well. It's a, it's, it's a weirdly lit room and there's a window next to me. But hey, man. Let me tell you, if it doesn't look like absolute garbage, it means I've put a lot of work into trying to fix it. Fair enough. Because when I do nothing, just let the autos go. Boy, is it rough. Zoom up right to the mouth. My fix. <laughs> mm. <laughs> just close mouth picks. Perfect. Oh, I give, me this, that. give me the tightest mouth picks you can justify. Yeah, whatever. 
please, Father, justify my mouth picks. Um, I, yeah, I'm just, it's just so confusing because, like, we have the exact same camera, so I don't get what happened. Um, so we have a team of four. Do we not have a sixth child? We do. We just pulled one off to make room for the egg hatch. Uh huh. I remember. So that. Galavantula, Arkin, uh, are two on your team. Mm hmm. Uh, Gumi and Skitty and Servine and Noivern were the current six we had. Gumi and Skitty. Those are the two I forgot. Let's do let's do a team summary so people can see because we've got people here who have never been on one of our Nuzlocks. Yeah, I'm just running around till my egg hatches. I got it right up to the almost zone, but I haven't been touching my game at all. Okay, fair enough. Um, there we go. I can't I can't show mine off until wait whoa, whoa. oh <laughs> Ooh, I love Honchcrow. Yeah, baby, your beautiful musketeer bird. bird. Oh, I love it. Did we do a nickname? Did you did you name goat? I didn't name it because I accidentally fucked it up. I pressed the not name it button. Oh, the not name it button. I, I pressed the not name it button. Uh, where is where is the namesman? I is this? I think he's here in this town. Right. I think you might be right. It looks like a weird like circus tent. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Woo. Man, y'all are seeing me at my best. I do not see a circus tent here. I see a Kung Fu man. Oh, we came to Lava Ridge. That's right. I know what town it is, but I can't get off the map because I'm stuck in name zone. I need a name for bird. Oh, uh, ooh, uh, mm. I also need a name for goat. Goat, yes. Um, hmm. So we're doing we're we're doing general entertainment. Or are we focusing on TV shows and movies? I think it was kind of. I think it was supposed to be movies and television was like the hope. And if we if we happen to stroll across something good, we can just do that because sure. rules don't mean anything. So I'm gonna start with the word Zorro. Oh, you just for the bird jumping right into Zorro, huh? So not Scarlet Pimpernel. Nah, 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 nah. Sure. Um. Let's see. Because Zorro's been like nine different kinds of entertainment. <laughs> Be it TV shows, prequels, remakes of movies, books. You're not wrong, but I don't know a goat equivalent to <laughs> Scarlet Pimpernel. Or sorry, if I could, my brain went right to Scarlet Pimpernel. Uh, no, to what the fuck? Zorro, God, good God. My brain could not remember the name Zorro okay. that you just said. Uh, also, yeah. Let's see, who else wears big hat? Who does wear a hat large? Who is the biggest hat man? I mean, obviously the Musketeers. Yes. But, uh Carmen San Diego wear big hat. Carmen San Diego wear 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 wear. Wear big. <laughs> Did we already fight the gym here? No, that's our next thing. And we don't have fly yet. No. So I can't leave here to go get my name changed on my goat. This all sounds yes. God. Okay. Whew. Puss in Boots also <laughs> wears a big hat. Yes. Right. Thank you, Mr. Mays. Uh, so, Puss, the Crow in Boots. Nope. <laughs> Puss and Crow. <laughs> Dark Cro Crow Puss. Crow Puss. I was also going to go for the word Crow Puss. <laughs> Crow Puss. Uh, Mr. Holland's Crow Puss. <laughs> It's not gonna fit. Does does Holland Cropus fit? <laughs> Holland Cropus. Only if you spell it real stupid. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling the stupidity coming. Yeah, because already. it's just gonna read crops. Well, I don't need two L's in Holland. Holland crops. Here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> no, we're not though. Don't do this. That's Holland. That's Holland. You can't do that. Holland. No, Holland. no, that's that's Holland. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we, need, we need an adjustment from this. Okay. I just want to see it. I, I never feel good about it until I see it sitting there. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm just going to get a lot of croppus out of it. Holland croppus. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking dumb. 
Almost there, though. Um, I mean, I like Holland. Okay. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Dutch. <laughs> Great. He's really uh, throwing your hat in the ring for the word Holland. <laughs> Puss and clogs. <laughs> uh, Benedict. <laughs> Benedict. How do we get Benedict? Because Holland days. Oh, okay. I thought you were going with some like Benedict, Benedict Arnold shit. I'm like, what? That also can be working into it, though. I mean, <laughs> Benedict Arnold is a good starting position because I guarantee he also wore an exceptional hat. Well, crows also lay eggs, so the eggs Benedict could be a thing. Oh, Benedict is pretty fresh. Crow eggs. Oh, man. I mean, that does make me think of fight milk because I fight can't milk. stop myself. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Benedict. Benedict Tater. Benedict. Benedict come. Benedict come. <laughs> Just dicked cum. <laughs> dicked cum. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we? Should we just do? Should we just do dicked cum? <laughs> and just cut the middle out of Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and then for the goat, we can cut the middle out of someone else's name. Yes, there you go. Just shaving portions of names off. Benny cum eggs. <laughs> Benny Cummings. Yuck. <laughs> Should I stick with Dick Dick Cum? <laughs> Old Cum Eggs Ben. Um, I mean, I like Dick Cum. <laughs> All right. Well, we have to. When we get to the go, we have to remember to to bisect someone's name in the middle. Yes. Uh, whew. That's. I. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't mind swapping out my Iggly buff with this Haunch Crow. That would be... But we need something to pair it with, delicious. though. Like, we, can't, we can't just leave them. <laughs> All right, let's do a team recap for everybody, just so everybody knows where we are. Yes, I was just getting my actual team out of the PC and mm -hmm. putting the Crow away. Mm -hmm. My throat hurts, by the way. Ooh, it's got Anger Point, and it's Naughty by Nature. Please remind me before I leave... Naughty by nature with anger point? Damn, okay. That's a good crow. It's very, very good. good. Uh, remind me to, to tell Bree that it is fucking the Renaissance Fair on the 5th and that we're going. My only Renaissance attire is very hot wizard robes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you just wear nothing under them, you're, you're fucking aces. And then you can just I'm like... Ready, I'm ready for battle at any time. Or, or... Terry cloth boxer shorts that you dip in water every once in a while just to freshen up. Mm. But here's the best part about that is whatever water you dip it in, it's got to be the same water and you have to clearly mark it do not drink. <laughs> no. And then sell it online. Gross. Just fucking this nasty chode blast. <laughs> I can't handle it. This is my taint tea. <laughs> my grundle punch. <laughs> Grundle punch. <laughs> I like that. Oh, man. I like grundle punch. Fucking <laughs> stewing up some grundle punch. Uh, mm. So, our Pokemon. I've got Turkish D Light, uh, the Galvantula, with Rain Dish. <sighs> I have Wily Burp, mm. the Houndoom, with Sheer Force. Mm. <sighs> Beautiful. Uh, I've got Fatty Wayans <laughs> with Hyper Cutter. <laughs> Forgot about Fatty. Uh, stick Moranis with uh, the Cradilly motor drive. Good. Uh, fatty Lance gets me every time. <laughs> uh, long Selic. <laughs> the Servine with oh, Moxie. Yes. I like Long Selic. I've got, I've got PP Picks, the Walray. PP Picks. Air Force Fun, the Neuvern. <laughs> mm. uh, Shreddenbacher, the Aerodactyl. <laughs> Can't forget about Shreddenbacher. <laughs> it is just like, I just every time I see it, my brain goes through the way we got to the name. <laughs> I just can't handle it. It's tragic, truly. Oh my god, it's it's beautiful. It's a fucking gift. <coughs> Goozer. With its weird the goose. With its weird pointy titties. Come on. Uh, I've got Hassle Sloth. This is the one that's named paired with Long Selic. And then Dom Delicat. And I've got Jug Bunny. Yeah. Of course I do. 
Does have a pretty good move set though, so that's not so bad. Hell yeah, that makes up for it. Oh yeah, Dom Della Cat has P Bond, which is crazy. So. Oh, I forgot, but it's never going to evolve, is it? Oh, your your video all got fucked. Yeah, it got real changed real quick. Let me fix that one second. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you, Hurley. Mm. Move this back over here. I might have a cold. Oh no, I've had a kind of a sore throat for a while too. Also, you know what I think I've learned? You know, I was talking about I had like some eye issues lately. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, do I have like a sty or something? Because mm -hmm. they've just been like really dry and kind of crap. I think I have developed in my late life a mild eye allergy to cat dander. Oh no, not for your pickles. Because I have learned that when it's real bad is when I am most pickle adjacent. Like, first thing in the morning when she's been sleeping on me all night. Oh, no. That's not good. I'm just going to get some drops. It'll be okay. It's really not bad. It's just been enough to be like, huh, my eyes are kind of fucked up. I wonder what's going on. Still, that sucks. Yeah. <sighs> so, are we um, are we spanking this hot booty? I think we're good to just go, go tongue first into this gym. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hose her down with water and then go for it. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's legal to tell say those words to me. Yeah. Whatever weird middle-aged dude in fucking suspenders and bow tie in the middle of a sauna. I think it's time for jail. I want you to just think about how sweaty this man is. Okay. I'm there. Just imagine the kind of grundle punch you can make from this guy's briefs. Oof. He's got the Hawaiian grundle punch. Yeah, he's definitely wearing, like, a fucking oompa outfit in a sauna. <laughs> oh, man. This dude's got some wicked uncle suits. I can't even imagine. Of course, I picked the wrong one right out the gate. Good God. Where does this guy shop? Uncle 21? Uncle 21? He's dressed like a very dapper lesbian. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which I gotta say so I, I, is an aesthetic I'm way here for. I, do too. I fucking love me some dapper lesbian bow tie suspenders. Like, my heart just instantly explodes. Adorable. They always look so fresh and good. Okay. I have to remember how to play this game. Yeah. So we, we got a boach who does get EQ at a certain point. A boach? Oh, yeah. A boach. Bar boach. Oh, okay. Ah, yes. But Fatty uh, Williams will avoid that. Mm hmm. But D Light will get fucked in the nut. To be fair, it is neutral on the bug, on the spiders. I didn't know ground. Because bug resists ground. Huh. <coughs> Good to know. But I've also got Leech Life, which I think uh -huh. will help stave off the nasties. Very much so. And it's 100% going to go first. Galavantula is the fastest thing on the board. Good to know. Uh, we'll just do Air Slash. Make sure you Digivolve and press square to dodge roll. Thank you. Yes. I always forget to do that, honestly. Yeah, that's fair. I was going to say, though, I, I came across, you know, one of the Mandela Effect things, but, like, it wasn't one that I found online. It was one I discovered in life, oh. in, in real life on my own. So, do you remember the the Nintendo sixty four game about pod racing? Yes, Star Wars. The yeah, the Star Wars pod racing game. I remember that. Yes, and I, I remember it through. I like owned it um, and everything. Yeah. The word pod racer is nowhere in the title. What? It is called Star Wars Episode One Racer. And I didn't know that or believe it. I saw it. I was at work and I was getting games out. And I was like, wait, this one's is this different than Pod Racer? And then I looked it up. I'm like, the game Pod Racer doesn't exist. It's called Episode One Racer. And I had no idea. I thought it was Star Wars Pod Racing. I, I did too. I thought it was Star Wars Pod Racer 64. Yeah. It's called Episode One Racer. At no point did it have the word Pod Racer in the title. It really fucked me up. It was a total Mandela thing. Everyone just called it that. But it never was. That's fucking with me right now. Okay. Right? Uh, I had that game. I actually yeah, liked I that had to, like, game. I did too. It was actually a really good racing game. 
had like a fun upgrade system and I like had to pull it off the shelf and be like, this has got to be a different game, but it's not. It is the game. That is buck wild. Agreed. I am not going to use Electro Web. Don't do that. Do I not have any like decent electric attack moves on this fucking bug? Are you kidding me right now? I think you had the option to load discharge, but it would have hit your ally. I've always got the option to discharge. Nice. Yeah, Star Wars Podraiser. Good God, that not is a, not a real title. Fuck wild. The other one that I did not discover on my own, but was shown, is the whole Ed McMahon uh, Publishers Clearinghouse thing. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone remembers Ed McMahon on the envelope and, like, going to people's houses with the big check. There's, yeah. like, basically no footage of that ever happening, and Ed McMahon denies ever being involved with Publishers Clearinghouse. And they are... It's, it's like, this weird cover-up. Because there's actually, like, TV shows that reference it. Like, in Golden Girls, B. Arthur, like, won the Publishers Clearinghouse, and she talks about Ed McMahon. But you, like, go and look, like, there's some kind of cover-up happening. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's gotta be one... I, I, I know, seeing, his, his I, fucking picture was on the envelope. I saw commercials for that shit. I remember that Yeah, vividly. everyone did. So everyone did. So that's less Mandela effect and more just deep cover-up. <clears throat> right, which is still pretty fucked up. Also, why, though? But that also... Huh? Why would they cover it up? I don't know. But also, <laughs> it makes you think, like, does that mean some of the other things that we have discussed as Mandela effect were, in fact, a really serious cover-up? I hope not. Right? God, actually, that makes me uncomfortable now. <laughs> right? Like Nelson, Man I mean, literally Mandela's funeral. Like, that could easily be, have been, like, faked. I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Was it closed casket? There you go. Yeah, there you go. He was actually more alive after the funeral. Mm. <laughs> my initial thought when I actually first heard about the Mandela effect, my first thought was, are they sure they don't mean Desmond Tutu, who might have died around then? And then mm. I forgot about it <laughs> and then I couldn't remember if Desmond Tutu was dead <laughs> and now in your mind it was always the Desmond Tutu effect <laughs> exactly the Tutu effect um should I oh uh... wait hold on I need to make a note because I've been uploading these with titles this episode is called the Tutu effect the Tutu, <laughs> the tutu effect <clears throat> the last episode was called salmon and pancakes Right? <coughs> it's Wolf and Dipping Sauce, who might have already been here, and I just wasn't paying attention. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Dipping Sauce. Um, okay, I'm going to open with an Electro Web, because why not? Even if Why Not hits me with a like, fucking mirror code or whatever, it's not going to be a big deal. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not, I'm going to ancient not power the Spiro into a fucking Shadow Realm. Oh, fuck. Maybe, maybe, maybe that will hit pretty hard, huh? Yeah, I mean, even a shitty electric attack from Galavantula is pretty scurry. Don't. Oh, shit. Not, okay, please kill him. Please kill him. Please, thank God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was not about to get fucking wiped out by this goddamn why not. <clears throat> More like wipe not. Gross. <laughs> uh. Hashtag wipe not. The anti-TP <laughs> movement. <laughs> Wipe nut, really. Why well, not? This is just yeah, why not? <laughs> it's why not new June. <laughs> why not? Don't don't like not don't do it. Just just think about it. Just, just question. Just qu question all nuts. <laughs> question your nuts. <laughs> Think twice before you nut. <laughs> it's June. Question your nut. <laughs> yeah, why not? Isn't Inkate a ground type? Yes. Oh, fuck type. me. Indeed it is. <clears throat> so I actually forgot that Electroweb is not what I thought it was. I thought Electroweb was like the base 10, maybe. Base 10 guaranteed paralyze. Huh. But it's not. Because there's sticky web, which is literally just a, like hazards that lower speed. Yeah. Now I'm all confused. 
All I know is that there's a lot of babies in this gym, and I don't like it. If your nut is anything but white, consult a boxer. I mean, to be fair, I guarantee a boxer can explain why your nut is red. Maybe. Stop getting punched in the dick. I mean, there's other scenarios that could lead to a red nut besides punch-related. If my if my nut was red and I walk up to a boxer, they'll give me an answer. It might not be the correct answer, but they'll give me an answer. Okay, okay. So we're valuing the knowing of things, whether or not it's <laughs> I can get down with that. Don't leave. Stop leading with your crime. <laughs> I'm just imagining Tyson, like, diving in dick first. Mm. Bob and Weave ain't worth shit. Distracted them with my nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, sucker punch. Eat it, slowpoke. <coughs> Hello, Tertius. Hey. Giga Dream. I've been rewatching Red Dwarf. It's been a real fucking delight. Bare nut coal boxing. <laughs> Come on, Hurley. Come on. Ugh. <sighs> I do like the idea of like just bare ball boxing. Yeah. They just cut a just hole in nut, the trunks. A nut out punch fest. <laughs> a balls out brawl. Mm. <sighs> I don't need dragon breath on this. And plus, I think I have the DM for it. Exactly. It's just boxing with your balls out. Nothing else out, though. Dick's still tucked away, but the balls are out. <laughs> and, if, and if your balls touch. You have to start over. You both instantly win. <laughs> you both win. Congratulations. Is there a nut weight class? <laughs> Congration. Go for the weigh in and then just like slap your nuts on a butcher board and <laughs> I like the, I like that the nut weight is more important than say, you know, their actual weight. Right, that's the matchup. Uh so they decided to send the weakest ass team up against me. <laughs> The fresh mare and team. spiky dog. Mambo King. <laughs> Mambo King and the fresh mare. <laughs> it's a power team. It really is. Yes, but it's a it's a nut measuring contest. The it's a non standard measuring contest. <clears throat> well, to be fair, steroids reduce nut size, so. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! That's how you. That's how you fight steroid use in boxing. Now your nuts you are out. Nut weighing. Yeah, there's the yeah. nut weighing and the nuts out like element of it, and so you're also being judged on nut quality. Then you're gonna have like saline injections, though. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have like nut flutter fluffers. Nut fl <laughs> little fluffer nutters. There's like the ring corner. And you've got your manager, like, having you spit in a bucket. And then there's just, like, a fluffer, like, just powder in your balls. <laughs> just keeping them show worthy. Sailing these nuts. I need to lead with a team that isn't Wily Burp, because I just keep using him, because he's very good. I just have a default of always using whoever is least leveled at the time. <laughs> Me too. Because they're not they're not balanced very well right now. Not the best. Oh, I fell. Man, I'm running across a lot of wieners. Yeah, this team was big baby city. Yeah. Well, welcome not welcome impressed. to Big Baby City. <laughs> That sounds like a fun city. There's big babies <laughs> everywhere. I go to Big Baby City. I'd, I'd, I'd visit. Flash cannon. Get fucked, weenus. Ah, uh, Will-O-Wisp, you wiener. Everybody's ween. Everyone is ween. There we go. There's the sucker punch I was looking for. <clears throat> Ball implants. I have nine balls. Guess which nine? ones are real. It's like mirror image. Yeah. The spell, but exactly. for balls. Exactly. <coughs> I think it's time to lepa. Lepa. 
enough of these nuts. Could imagine a sportscaster showing images of a boxer's nuts over the past few months to get an average. Decide if he's clean when they seem small in one match. Hell yeah. I just like the idea of very, very intense testicular exposés. Yeah. I want a dossier on this guy's bag. <laughs> you could not you could not have said that better. Thank you. <laughs> I want a dossier on this guy's bag. <laughs> what I can. Alright, let me cure this burn. I do like that her hair is shaped like a red maple leaf. That is pretty fresh. <coughs> do I not have a mm. burn heal? Yeah, I do. Give me some orans. Drink deep, my babies. I bought a lot of milk. I should have. I think I'm okay for healing items, but I will purchase the milk before I leave the town. I will drink the milk. Come on, hot mama. The guy at the front told me to douse you with my hose. That's true. He did. Uncle Lesbian did say that. <laughs> Uncle Lesbian. <laughs> oh, man. Why does she have a towel belt? I mean, I assume because saunas. It changes the definition of sweatpants. Okay, but here's the problem. I'm far more concerned about her wearing jeans in a sauna. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Like, you're <laughs> fucking wearing denim in the sauna and adding a towel as a belt? What? Uh, sweatpants. <laughs> Another Bonsley. This is a dumb team. Yeah, this diff the difficulty matching is the problem, I think. That's, it's... I'm hoping it's going to get real hard later. Me too. It's just right now, it's kind of a bummer. It is. Uh, I'm going to electro the webs. That's the weird thing, though, is we started having some hard fights in the last episode. Like, some of the Team Magma shit was, like, actual fully evolved strong boys. And now we're in a gym again, and it's back to fucking baby town. <sighs> Ancient power, I think, is better. Yeah, Bonsley's getting fucked. Almost clicked ice ball. Don't do that. Ooh, yeah, that'd be rough. I mean, you probably walk the team, but still. Sure. Until, you know, like fucking Zekrom comes out or something. <coughs> I've also been uh, re-watching How I Met Your Mother with Bree, which she had never seen before. Yeah. And uh, while some of the jokes don't really land, I remember why the show did so well. Because mm -hmm. it's very, like, people react to the comedy. Like, the actors are, like, laughing along, and it seems like they're human instead of psychotic robots. Anybody out there who hasn't seen Friends Without the Laugh Track, watch it. It looks like six sociopaths who are together just to, like, make themselves look normal, and they're all just standing around being cruel to each other and not laughing at all. It's horrifying. It's, it's real scary. Same thing with uh, Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Yeah. Just deeply uncomfortable. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no? Oh, no. Oh, no. Who, what just, uh, who, hey, what, huh? They just double teamed Jigglypuff, and for some reason she died. Jeez. Like, I wasn't Christ. expecting that at all. I thought she was a tanky baby. Uh, she that is, but extra sensory hyperfang just fucking killed her. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Extra sensory hyperfang. Both stab moves on. I wasn't. I mean, I was not prepared for a KO out of nowhere. Shit. Who is mine? Is that. That's the spider and the bird, I think. No, no, please not them. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, man, which means yep. a mid-fight switch. Yikes. Are you sure it isn't Dom Delacat and Goozer? Because I'd much rather it was I, them. I, I am sure. Oh, fuck me. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's go Dom Delacat, I guess. Fuck me. I got to do I gotta do the mid-fight sw swatch, too, just because I got to get PP picks out of there. That sucks, fucking dick balls. What the shit? Discharge. Hey, you're gonna hurt your own, idiot. Goodbye, Litwick. Thanks for the free kill. <clears throat> That's dumb. We just lost a team last episode. Yeah. 
I don't want to do the Eiffel Tower on the jiggly, jiggly, jiggly duff. What? What? Oh, I see. I get it. I'm not into I it. I see the. I see the joke. Do not sign me up, please. I think I'm gonna have to actually try to out heal this extra sensory. This fucking chingling is putting in some damage work. <coughs> Gumi use protect like a piece of shit. Oh, there's a crunch. Right. That's fine, I'll take it. Oh, disarming voice, hell yeah. Goodbye, Gumi. Hello, D's nuts. Uh techno blast, which oh wait, no, that's electric. Yeah. Man, considering how shitty this team is, I can't believe they died. <laughs> Please just die, Electros. You're seriously causing me some troubles. Very insulting. Also, Electros is way smaller than it should be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the 3D version of Electros is weirdly tiny. <sighs> All right. Careful now. <clears throat> What was fine? Oh, you're talking about Iron Man, your mother. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's all right. I mean, as sitcoms go, it's one of the better ones. Yeah, it had a lot of in-jokes that required some thought. I my, appreciate the part of that. My main problem with NPH is basically all of the extremely problematic elements of his character and uh, the fact that at no point does it actually get kind of corrected. <laughs> nope. Yeah, basically everything about the ending is just kind of like, nah, okay. <clears throat> uh, let's fucking put some dragon stank on this weird electric sock. So how should we handle pairing the egg? Oh no. Ooh, that was close. Boy, if it had gone for your skitty, they would have died. There is no reason that fucking uh, Gumi should be alive right now. I, it has managed to protect, like, every goddamn turn, and it's pissing me off. Oh, well, why not? Great. Great. Perfect. Well, let's drink deep. Let's pour some, a saucer of milk for this beautiful cat. I just don't want to do this. All right. Um, I don't. I can't. It isn't. I'm going to kill Gumi just to get out of the fucking way. So I can focus on the why not. How about some tunes for recommendations? Well, Law actually suggested something for a party I just threw that I fucking loved. Um, can you, Shaolin uh, Afronauts. Shaolin Afronauts. Amazingly pleasant. Very good. Also, very accurate title for their style of music. Yes. Absolutely agreed. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Them, them, and uh, Budos band go really well on a playlist together. How did disarming Both voice do great, so great little against Gumi? Mirror coat, fuck you, dude. Uh, well, this why not's really causing me some stress. It's the last fucking enemy too, which is not making me feel any better. No, like, sleepy paralyzes or anything? Not on this team. There we go, fucker. Get in the toilet, you stupid dump. <clears throat> but that means Dragon Breath's going to him. Oh, thank Christ, that critical. Thank you, baby. <laughs> nice. And no debond. Good, good, I'll take it. Either of you holding <clears throat> an item? <clears throat> It's really hard for me to recommend music just because music has never been something I listen to a lot of. It's like, I don't know. I also don't like come across new shit to recommend, you know? I feel like it's very important for me for like once every like three or four months to just go down a very deep rabbit hole of discovering at least two or three new bands I really like. I would be, I would do that, except I just don't come across enough, you know? And mm -hmm. there, there's not enough that I like. I think it's it's. I'm not even picky. I just don't really come across that I'm like, ooh, yeah, this is really doing it for me. And I'm, because see, music 
is all about creating the uh, the chills for me. It's all like about creating that emotional response, and uh, it's mm -hmm. hard to find music that creates that emotional response. Thank you, Zombie. I am. I feel like I'm a very picky. I, I dig through a lot of shit before I find anything I even kind of don't hate. I think for me the hardest part is that it takes so long to get there that it's hard for me to justify the time involved. Mm -hmm. Ah shit! I just agreed to let her take me back to Petalburg. Oops. Oh no. Oops. I guess I'm coming. So it's like you fight a gym leader, and then it's like here, fight another gym. Yeah, it really is. Good Christ. Very much so. Only this one has big monkeys. What level is this man? <coughs> I think 32. Okay, so I'm actually perfectly fine level-wise to, to dunk on this fresh dad, but... I'm a little under, but I'm also... We're down to four, and we need to go find a new swap out. Yeah, you're right. Or figure out a way we can get one encounter to pair with our eggs. Yeah. Man, I want to learn Body Slam, but I just can't justify dropping anything on my stack. Also, it's fucking a special attacker, so what am I doing? Yeah, what do we need? What are we doing? I mean, anything alive is an improvement. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at some teams that stand out. Um, before, we had Grovile Chingling, Esel Gordadene. Those were on the team. Uh-huh. Um, now, we do... Okay, here's the thing. We have some teams that are unattached because we decided to wait until we could get a more of an encounter table, like new rods or whatever, you know? We have Surf now, right? Not yet. Oh, right? I don't think... We don't have Surf yet, do we? No, we're we're gonna get surf after this. I think. I hate it. Yeah, Wally's Wally's dad gives us surf after this gym. Okay. So we could either pair the eggs with one of our floating teams that does not have anything paired with it, or we could just wait on those. Um, I mean, I feel like if we had established a rule for that, then I'd be okay with it. But we have no, like, this is all just kind of vague. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, right now we have two half teams that are just pending new rods or encounters. Yeah. Um, so I guess we just can't use those ones yet. Yeah. Or make that four. Uh, so what do we have? Um... Make Mortar and Nikita, Mr. Mind Goat. You already have a Go-Goat. <laughs> you had a Go-Goat before the egg even hatched. Good God. So theoretically, I could uh, do a recatch on that, do a token. Yeah, I don't know where you would use that for the egg, but... Uh, we've got Kingler, Mawile, Electrode, Ninjask. Where are all of these things? I'm not picky. You could probably I'm not uh, picky either. <clears throat> but like I've got like a Dugon here and I don't I don't see Dugon in this. The teams I would like to use would be Lombre Duskull, uh I could be down I could be down with Mime and Skiddo. That'd be pretty fresh. Uh nothing against Haxorus Zubat. I'm gonna get rid of this Dugon while I'm here because this is from a route we failed to catch. I have that very clearly <coughs> marked. What was this Jolteon from? Jolteon, let's see. Was that from one of the later teams? What route does it say? Let's find out. I don't know why I thought you would know offhand. Uh, it's Jagged Pass. Jagged Pass. It might have been a token? Nope. That is a failed catch. You had a Jolteon, I had a Centino, and then we lost the second pair. Ah, oh, you butt. I know this because right next to that it says Lost in the Jazz. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, what's this muck paired with? Oh yeah, these are pretty much paired up where they are. Although, what is this from? 
I have like Luxio Staravia. Den Glanzig, you mean? Ah, uh, yes. A uh, fiery path. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's a bad team. <laughs> uh, but I do need to replace Zubat with Luxio while I'm here. That'll help things. Yeah, your team is butterfree and unknown. <laughs> compared to that one, which is not the best. Um, so Jeez. I think we're down to about two. Mm -hmm. There's Clefable Probo Pass could make a grand return with Purloin and Monferno. I mean, I could take a Monferno. That would not hurt me. Um, Grovile Chingling, Aceligore Dedene is also one we've already been using, which is a pretty easy swap in. I'm happy with that, too. There is the Kingler Mawile Electrode Ninjask. I'd rather not use Ninjask because that's just waiting for a dead party. Um, I would gladly give you the Lombre Duskull, except it's paired with a Lunatone and a Hoot Hoot. <laughs> Yeah, that's not it's great. Pretty, pretty not the best. Um, <coughs> I mean, I like I like either Monferno or Dedenne. I'll take those. Uh, let's see. What's going to be best on our teams? So I've got Rock. Rock. So probably don't want Probo Pass if I can help it. That's fair. So Dedenne, Excelgore. And Grovile and Shingling are coming back until we get some new encounters. Uh, we also both have a Servine on our team. Oh, wait. No, that's a different chain. No, different Gen 1. I mean, different starter. I understand. Man. I got okay. you. Okay, so that's that. Uh, if, we, if anyone has an idea on how we can make a token for the egg we hatched, that'd be awesome, because I would not be sad about Honchkrow. Yeah, that'd be nice. <clears throat> Although, once we beat this gym and get Surf... I think we can go back and get like a ton of unfinished pairs, like a lot. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm rare candying up to thirty two. By the way, thirty two. Okay, sounds good. Where are my expensive chocolates? Here they are. Whip out some fucking Godivas. Is that across the board? Yeah. Yeah, we might not have lost that team if we had leveled up a little more. True. Yeah, the same thing that happened that almost killed your skitty, though, is basically what happened to Jigglypuff. It just happened to double team at a bad time. Yeah. But that's, and that shocks me. Like, I thought Wigglytuff was pretty tough. Hence the it's name. It's really physically defensive, and Clefairy's very physically defensive. Mm. And it got hit by two physical moves. Gotcha. That'll do it. That'll put you in the toilet. Wait, what am I learning? The power oh, agility. No, no. I don't need agility on Getty Leaf. Do I need full heals? I don't know. I do you? feel like I have every kind of heal. I'm good. Uh, well, I mean, when we get to Safari Zone, that's definitely an option. Because let me tell you, there's a lot of zones in the Safari Zone. We're a while away from it. Yeah, I think we're like two cities away, at least. The way the Safari Zone catches are going to work is, I think, the way we've always done it, which is <clears throat> we we get we can catch whatever we want, but we only get that. Right. So we go in twice, and we can catch anything we want, but that's it. Right. Once we leave, we throw the rest of the ones in the garbage. Exactly. I mean, yeah, you're right. That as as a token space, dip, dipping sauce. I think that that's perfect. Which I mean, we're not that far. Once we have surf, it's just a quick jaunt to get to the safari. Zone. Well, we have to get through Fortree City, I think, before we hit Safari Zone. I think. I don't think you have to do it before. I think you can just go. Like, I don't think anything's stopping. No, yeah, I think I think Safari Zone comes just before Fortree City, doesn't it? No, it's right. It's right. Um, after because it it's the city it's right before the city that has the huge shopping mall which is like gym eight zone fair enough I'm pretty sure I think you're right uh, uh, oh okay my sinus is good info right. yeah shit man I think I have a cold this blows it does suck or it's just that I'm talking. I found that uh, after talking for a while, my throat and sinuses start to hurt from all the vibrations. Might have just been fucking <laughs> hitty. Are we just 
Are we just doing it? I'm just peeking. I didn't take a step. Just okay. on, I'm still on the light, the precipice. <coughs> so uh, are we are we doing it? I mean, we did just throw down the rare candies. We might as well unlock the game. We got to rush. We got to rush this Oris. We've been dragging our feet we on Oris. Do we do? Well, I would say we're dragging our feet more than just we have too many catches. Double yeah, the number of catches, and that eats slow up. us down. It eats up half the time. Yeah. Except this time it eats Especially up. Especially with how we name things. I'm not even reading the doors. They don't actually matter. Except it does change what X item they use. Yeah, but none of them are actually as scary as they sound. Correct. It's no different than somebody just using growl. Yeah. Murkrow and Murkrow. Oh, mm. look at these boys. They're they got a real murder boys. going. Very good boys. Mm. Nuzzle was the move I was thinking of, the guaranteed paralyzed with Nuzzle. With, with just a scooch of damage. <clears throat> Love Nuzzle. And yet again, I have an electric type that has no real electric moves that, that like, work. Yeah, which is a shame, because Volt Switch is a phenomenal move if you can use it. Yeah, I mean, if I'm going to change, then perfect, but... If a Selgor gets um, U-turn... Then you are sitting so pretty because you can fucking vault switch U turn out into a new team. I shouldn't be out here with Rush, should I? This is a bad idea. I mean, I the made... bug could could be packed to the end. I'm going to switch and get Goozer and Don the Cat. Ah, shit. Are you lamenting the loss of the Whirlipede? I just made a goof. I goofed it. Cry not for Whirlipede. <clears throat> I mean, Sol Scolipede's a great design. Love, love it. <laughs> All right, what am I doing here? Ice cream, Brad Dragon Bed, Techno Blast, Book of Blah Blah Blah. Okay. Oh yeah, Techno Blast is electric in this mod. Yeah, I forgot I have the drive thing. Cool. Mm, get nice. fucked nightshade all right eat my butthole now don't x defend the clang it doesn't need it it's made of metal <laughs> god damn it i hate how quickly uh cold sneak up on me they just, I mean, I think that's just getting older. Like, now it's like you fucking bend over to pick up a pencil and you stand up with the cold. <laughs> You're not wrong. But no, it just caught me way off guard when I first started realizing that, like, I could develop a cold over the course of an hour. That, like, I feel nothing. I feel fine. My day's going great. I'm healthy. It's perfect. And then I'm like, huh, I got a little bit of a tickle. An hour later, I'm like, I've got a cold. Fuck. And this is bad. Full-blown full cold. Yeah. Yep. It do be sucking. <laughs> Fatty Wayans. <laughs> when does Fatty? When does Fatty evolve? I don't even know. Well, he's dead now. Wait, Fatty's. Oh, that's right. He was Arkin. on the team that I killed. I murdered with my my cruel, shitty hands. <laughs> my very bad hands. My very bad hands. You want Oreos right now? You know, the funny thing is the other day, the idea of a Sunday on a brownie popped into my head and I could not get it out. Could not like a warm brownie with a cold Sunday on it. I could not get it out of my head. Huh? That's a really Impossible. specific one. Yeah. Well, specifically the brownie starship from Little Dipper Ice Cream in Missoula, ah. which is like a giant warm brownie with six of their custom house flavors on top. And then all of the accoutrements of the classic American Sunday. Dipping sauce, you were there for Tony Bad Hands, right? Yeah. I mean, you didn't say Tony, so I think Dipping Sauce picked up on the Tony. I thought I thought I said Tony. I don't know, man. Anybody out there who doesn't know who Tony Bad Hands is just missed out. They missed out on, like, true joy. American history. American, American history. Uh... Tony Bad Hands. I want this hassle sloth to fucking evolve into a 
big monkey. Just a big, strong, lazy monkey. Yeah, man. That's what, 36? Yes. Do I want to be cheeky and learn counter? God, this team just sucks nut for this this fight. I'm just... I'm out. I'm going to learn counter. I'm using Volt Switch. Yay. Kazow. God, she has nothing. Venomoth is too thick. Apparently. All right. I'm getting rid of Power Up Punch for Crunch. Cut the old me. Punch for Crunch. Cut me off a slice of that thick moth bussy. Venom mussy. Venom mussy. <laughs> I'm at dad. Wow, his floors are shiny. Like, holy fuck, this guy. Did you just skip all the other trainers? I took a straight line. I didn't backtrack. Oh, my God. There's so many trainers to fight here, and you just gunned it for the finish line. All right. I mean, they're, they're all shitty. Like... M -m 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 money. M -m -m money. I can still fight him. I just looked at Dad. Uh, Dad uh, now knows I'm here. M -m -m money. I of all the songs in um, Adventure Time, the M -m -m money song is the one that like sticks in my head. <laughs> I'll just, just be walking around. Uh, yeah. Oh, good night, Tertius. Oh shit. Goodbye. See now, this is a team. This is something to fight with my friends. This is. This is something to fight with my friends. I can respect this team. Making pain. Yeah, for me, it's a tropical island, I think, is the one that really sticks in my head. Tropical island does do a great job, which I love that, like, of all of the cast, John DiMaggio is probably the weakest singer, and yet his are the songs that just burn in. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I used to be really lukewarm on John DiMaggio as an actor, and I gotta say, like, as time has gone on, I've developed more and more love for the guy just as, like, a professional. The guy just does the job. Yeah, me too. Like, he really brings a ton into his voices. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he doesn't fuck around. Mad respect. Granted, they're all very much the same voice. Yes. But the way he presents them is really well done. <laughs> Every once in a while, though, he'll do some AD, and... True. No, totally, totally. Yeah, it's like, I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't, I like, you can kind of hear it, and you're like, oh, there's some John DiMaggio in there, but the man's like, yeah. he's doing his job, like. I just mean, like, the voices he uses to buy his house are all very similar. Yeah. The big payday voices. All right, what speed are you at? Uh, normal speed. Oh, okay, cool. Just so double checking. You seem to be going a little quick. Pretty sure. Uh, you're like two whole fights wait. ahead of me, and I'm not sure how. Are you what's what speed are you at? 100 or 125? 125. Yep, me too. Okay. okay. Wanted to make sure because I was like, I mean, I am at 125, but I thought we were both doing that. Yeah, we are. Just because Pokemon games for some reason are always really slow. Yes. Just impractically slow. Mm hmm. Annoyingly slow. Mm hmm. I, uh, I used to just have this YouTube video that was just all the Adventure Time songs. Um, mm, and it would just that play, sounds like a good one. It would just play them beginning to end for directly from the episode so it wouldn't be like a pre, like a re-recorded, you know, studio version. Um, mm -hmm. And I would just sit there and listen to it. I would just keep it on while I was, like, studying or whatever. And I just had such a good time. I was actually really impressed with his uh, with his Joker. John DiMaggio did a great job. Yeah, no, it was pretty good. I, I thought it was pretty solid, for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can definitely side strike this Halucha, but I really don't want to be in on this team right now. That's a strong, that's a strong opponent. And very like, I'm gonna kill your team specifically. Mm. Uh, because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Fairy's weak to fire. Uh, and the bird is gonna wreck. Bird and fire are both gonna wreck. Fucking rush. That is not a, not a good space to be right now. Um. You know what? God, Go Goozer and Dom Delacat just keep being the best choice. Yeah. Uh, DiMaggio's Joker, like in uh, Under the Red Hood. Yeah, John DiMaggio. He did a good, rock solid Joker. 
<coughs> Especially when you're so used to like Mark Hamill and like, you're like nobody can do do Mark do it other than Mark Hamill, and then he comes in and right. does a rock really good job. Yep. Uh, uh, Dom Delicat. <clears throat> God, you know what? I'm just really hoping I never see another Joker adaptation. Just never again. Can we just be done? I kind of feel that way a little bit about just all Batmans. That's like for fair. a while. Like, can we just have like five years? I think that'd be great. I, just have I feel break. like I could get over it in five. Yeah. Yeah. Five's fair. Like without a full reboot of some form. Mm-hmm. 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 I just used double techno blast on this fucking Torkoal. Take care of it. Based. Deserved. I hope so hard that there's a moonstone in the big town when we get there. Me too. Good but God. for you. That would be very nice. Yeah, a Joker break is really all I need just because I I really don't feel like we need more. There's so many, and they're all, like, they've all done such really good versions, except Jared Leto, and I'm like, can we just call it good? We've got a Jack Nicholson, who was, like, your classic, classic Joker, and you got your, like, mm -hmm. fantastic Heath Ledger, I don't really need more than that, and then they, like, fucked it up bad with Leto, and I'm like, okay, this should have been your signal to stop. And then, like, the yeah. brief little cameo at the end of, uh, fucking, what is it? The Batman? Mm. Yeah. Didn't didn't watch the Batman. Oh, you should. I know that you're burnt out on it, but I would say of all of them, uh, it might be the one that you actually like. <laughs> That's not to say I didn't like like Dark Knight and stuff. Like they're fine. Yeah. They, they, they entertained me. Sure. Shit, I gotta. I didn't like the Bane one though. That was just a bad movie. It was really <laughs> bad. It wasn't good. Like, I just went back and, like, rewatched, like, some scenes, and I'm like, this is, none of this matter. Like, this is such a bad story. Yeah, I went back and rewatched uh, all the Nolan ones, and while they're not bad, they're definitely not as good as I remember, and I feel like they aged real rough. Like, I just can't, I mean, there was a lot of jokes about the Bane voice, but then I, like, went back and actually, like, watched the movie again, I'm like, this is dumb. Like, this sounds really dumb. Hey, bud, you sound dumb. <laughs> like, if no one made any jokes about this, I would think this is one of the dumbest character voices from any movie I've ever seen. <laughs> I just wish one person made a comment on it in the world. Like, <laughs> Please, I'm just waiting for someone to dunk on this Bane voice. Jesus, you sound like an idiot. <laughs> that Sean Connery with a sock in his mouth? Cut it out. Just bad. Okay, time to fight Dad. Which is weird, because, I, I mean, I... Punk. I do feel like Tom Hardy is a decent actor, so I'm like, it was so we weird to have him be so not great in that role. Okay, now we got some teams. Oh, fuck. All right. Now well, we're to going be, to work. To be fair, that's because the, the type matching or the, the power level matching matched a slacking, and it's like, what am I going to yes. find that's equivalent to a slacking? Oh, yeah, a T-tar. Oh, shit, yep. which means I'm probably going to get a T-tar. Like tea -tar. I said, when it happens, it's going to happen. Oh, fuck me. Here it is. Yeah, what's it going to be? Is it going to be a T-Tar 2? Garchomp and Bolga. <laughs> so pseudo. Soft baby and pseudo legendary. Don't sleep on a Molga. I've been, I've been killed specifically by an Molga at least twice now, so I'm not, I'm not sleeping on this, this child. Uh, Here's but a I, question, though. I, th I feel like I should swap out because I'm pretty sure this T-Tar can crunch Chingling into the next dimension, but that's just going to give him a free round of damage. Yeah, that's why I'm glad I'm volt switching right now. <laughs> that's my play. So I have to <laughs> predict on this. So what I need to do is I need to swap out Shreddenbacher for Chingling, predicting the crunch. And then I can get Getty Leaf in for Hasselslough. Yeah, no, they're both, they're going to double team. There's no way Magneton's going to use an electric move on Grovile. He resists. They're going to double team. And that means Gro uh, Shreddenbacher will be wasted by Magneton. Yeah. <clears throat> So, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, uh, let's see, who's swapping? This is Grovile. So I'm going to swap Grovile for Wily. And then I'm going to swap 
Chingling for Stick Moranis, who will eat both of those very well. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Hey, there he is. Look at that guy. Look, it's him. God, Double Battle Titar. That fucking sucks, dog. <laughs> Titar Gar Garchomp is not a pair I'm down for right now. And I, nope. I, I just have, I just don't have a single team that can take this, by the way. Like, there just isn't anything. Disarming nope, voice. Is... Go, cat. I'm going to lose this team, by the way. There's no way, there's no way around this. That's fair. That's fair. Garchomp gets the dragon breath. Oh, dual chop. Here we go, baby. And there goes Goozer. Woo! Oh, no. Wait, you outspeed me? How the fuck does T-Tar outspeed a Houndoom? Are we going to get wiped? Maybe. Well, whatever. I think literally that team that you're using is the team I'm using. So we both just lost that anyway. So. Uh, could be. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the one. Well, here comes Long Selic and Air Force Fun. Hmm, Brelium. So I need to do a. I need to do an auto switch. You do. I mean, I'd okay. say you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think you could just. No, I'll, I'll do the auto. I'll do the switch. I'm gonna, keep, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. Okay, rock smash, please, on this T-Tar and put it in the toilet. Yeah, I got a circle throw off, so I killed my T-Tar, but now I'm not in a much better spot. Wow, that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it was going to do, huh? Takedown. How bad that going to be? Not too bad. Well, thank you. Good. Thank you for using. Oh, thank you for using Scary Face. Oh, God. You beautiful idiot. <laughs> you fucking glorious dipshit. I love it. Okay. I feel like Dragon Claw. Okay, should I focus the T-Tar? I mean, you have another dragon in, so that Garchomp's just going to kill your Noivern. So I would focus on the Noivern, or the, the Garchomp. Yeah, yeah. He's got the dragon moves. But he's going to resist my shit is the problem. Like, the, the Long Selic doesn't have shit for that. And Leaf Blade's neutral. He he could finish the T-Tar this round, or he could help try to take down the Garchomp, which is very debatable if it's going to work. I'm going to go for yeah. Garchomp. Let's, let's take the Chomper. Oh oh oh! <laughs> hey, there it is. Yeah, I was just I was just super worried he was gonna obliterate your fucking. And then Leaf Blade, come on, finish the T Tar for me, darling. You're so high level. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna evolve now, after the fight. Nice. No, I don't want to learn Coil. Fuck you. What am I doing here? Yeah, I got a poison jab the Breloom. That's my best play. I don't know why I'm worrying about what to switch moves for this. And fucking, he's dead. <coughs> Wait, no, that team's still alive. God, it lived on fucking nothing. Ugh. Okay, well, you're dead now. Thank you for killing the T-Tar. He only had two slackings on his team, right? Yes. Good. But the double battle mechanics make that kind of weird. He might have four... Hydreigon, yeah, okay, so we're looking, we're looking at, we're looking at a stack, we're looking at a stack. Oh two, yeah, here's, here's. <laughs> I just got a fucking Salaman swapped in, so yeah, we're looking at four pseudos guaranteed in this fight. Uh, there's no way to do this. There's, I'm fucked. Uh, I mean, one shot. Believe in the heart of the cards. One shot. Hell yes. Oh, except he just hit me with mummy, so now I don't have fucking pure power, pure power anymore. I think you can still do all right without it. <sighs> okay. Just, just, okay, Selic, I need you to do me a favor and one-shot this thing with Rock Smash. I know that's not possible, but if you could just... Mm. Oh, ye I double-teamed the Salamence and it fucking clicked Protect. Oh. <coughs> God, okay. this fucking mech. Oh, great. Another one down. Down to one team, Aruni. Oh, <laughs> I hate that. I don't like to see that anymore. Uh, why? Why? Why does it know Mirror Shot? 
Please, yes, protect you, stupid Crawdont. Good. Hydreigon, gone. All pseudos dead. Thank you. <clears throat> this is gonna be bad for me. I'm just glad that of all the teams to still be alive, it's Air Force Fun and Long Cell. Like, I will take it. Oh, absolutely. These are the strongest <laughs> two for sure. We just can't afford to lose these ever at all anymore. Please. I'm doing everything to keep... I mean, thankfully, I got to switch in an Ice Fang to kill that Salamence, but I don't know what else is waiting in the fucking bleachers to pop out. Oh, that's fucking daddy. Oh, he's done. <laughs> oh, good. It's a Gudra. A full Gudra. Ooh. Maximum Here's the thing. Money. I can't swap out, and Slacking is now minus two defense thanks to Metal Sound. Ugh. <sighs> So fuck me, I guess. <coughs> what are we doing? I've got a double into the Gudra because Magneton's going to use a special attack. I don't have to worry about a physical attack from Magneton. So, yeah, double into the Gudra. Hopefully Ice Fang does more than 75%. Oh, d yes! there we go. I mean, to be and fair, you were using Ice Fang on a goddamn uh, Aerodactyl. That was going to rock anything's asshole. <laughs> no, I mean on a Gudra. Oh, yeah, but I mean, don't... it's a dragon. Yeah, I just mean a lot of people try to use an ice move on Gudra thinking it's going to go down like Salamence and Rayquaza, and it eats it usually. Sure. It is the specially <coughs> tankiest of all of the... Uh... Oh, no, you're dead. It doesn't matter what I learn on you. <coughs> Stop trying to teach me Coil. Coil's good. What? Is it? Oh, it's really good. Yeah, what? No way. Really? Hey, I got my own G Chomp. That's like a plus three boost. Mm. Oh shit, I forgot. Ugh, for some reason I was thinking Coil was rap. Uh, I can I got a heart scale. I can go and relearn that. Nice. Hopefully the Ice Fang. Yeah, that's times four. Thank God I have Ice Fang on this fucking Aerodactyl. Pseudos hate Ice Fang. That was a smart play. <laughs> I will be right back. All right. Thank you for the bits to play the LUQ theme. Much appreciated. While Zach's gone, I'm going to keep playing with my color stuff. Defaults. God, that looks so bad. Bazinga. Oh, got the luck theme and everything. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hidden power. Hooray. Great competitively. Yeah. We lost two teams. Yes, we did. Yep. I mean, to be fair, I will say, of all the gym battles for it to be, like, tense, I feel like this is an appropriate one since it is Dada. Yeah, this is the one that, like, in the real game is like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Oof, you got dark. Yep. Oh, that looks a lot better. Now you just need to change the color. Yeah, I'd say don't touch anything else. You look fresh to death. Look like an ice-cold Jesus. I got Smurf. <clears throat> Show me a good TM. No, not the testicle badge. What you gonna get? It's Haze. Haze. Good news, though, is the second we get Surf, we can backtrack to, like, four zones. It's going to take a little running, but, you know. Yeah. 
I will say, you with the cool colors and me with the red colors makes sense with our screen. It does make sense. Yeah. Oh, that was a tight one. <clears throat> it literally came down to the moves that we knew. <coughs> At least for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, we lost two teams each, Zombie. They were good teams, too. Um, oh, I'm going to hit speed up during this fucking dialogue. That's absolutely fair. I didn't. Now I'm finally here. <clears throat> but you have Surf, yes? I do have Surf. Okay, so go ahead and get a Surf Mon <laughs> out of your box. That is valid, because otherwise we're just down to two. Why do the things I like? Why do things you like have to be expensive? I don't That's know. That's a great question. Because if you like them, they were probably worthy of increasing the uh, cost. Justified. Are you are you implying that you don't like anything that isn't expensive? Yeah. <laughs> Just like if it isn't at least eighty dollars, get out of my face. Because if you also like things that are inexpensive, that's just liking stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, I forgot the fucking you in the dead box. Fuck, I forgot Gerbils had uh, Zap Zipper and that fucking Excelgore had Levitate. Yeah. Uh. All right, oh, so who's our, who's our new team, huh? Well, first, let's go get our catchies. <coughs> uh, I mean, shouldn't we pick something to add to our team that maybe can help us catch? That's fair. That's fair. Were you not holding an item? Good Lord. I guess I didn't have anything. Uh, my Tangrowth has Sleep Powder. Right. That is paired with... Uh, okay, so... I need to go back to Duford Town in order to complete that pair because I have a note there that we made an error and I accidentally caught the wrong thing. So I have a Yon Mega and a question mark that pairs with Deli Bird and Tangrowth. That's fair. We just were too far from Duford Town to have us do it at the time. Yeah, that tracks. So Grovile, I need to mark down my dead <laughs> ones first because I don't want to lose track of that. Um, Grovile Chingling, Aselgore de Dene died. And Cradilly Houndoom Goom Skitty never got to become a fully blown cat. Never ever. She died cute. Which isn't the worst. Okay. So does your Mr. Mime have any status moves that could help catch? He don't, but he got some good moves. <laughs> so I strike Pretty good flavor. moves for a fucking Mr. Mime. Yeah. How about Go Go? Does he have anything that might be helpful? Uh, nope, but I'll take him. Uh, it's, let's see what else there is. Um, how about Esper and Scatterbug? Do either of them have a move that I, would help you? Catch? I already checked, and nobody has anything. <laughs> oh, wait. No, ah. Stun Spore. Stun Spore on Scatterbug. Hey. And doesn't Butterfree have, like, all the fucking status spores? Oh, shit. You might be right. Am I crazy? Hey. But it's paired with an unknown. I mean, this is temporary. Yes. You are correct, sir. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just I'll just grab those two sets and we'll just do that. Um, but I that doesn't give me anything to help me. Oh, finish. okay. Uh, I thought I thought Luxio might have Thunderwave, but it don't. Nope. Although one of them might be able to learn Yawn, I think I have that TM, so we'll find out. Good call. Uh ba 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 ba. I realize that we can't maintain rhythm over this chat because like one of us is slightly delayed. So what sounds good to me is going to sound bad to you. Just that fucking baby cake scene. Yeah. So good. But now I get it. Now, like, now, right. because I've been hearing people do the Baba Baba thing so many times in my life, and I'm like, I don't know what this is. And now I understand. Wait, I don't have, I don't have yawn at all. I don't even know what I have. I feel like I had enough P Mons with <coughs> Yawn that I should have had it, but boy, I got Bub Kiss. Kiss my bubs. Yeah, I don't have anything. Yeah, I don't have a single status move. Yikes. I got Simple Beam, though. That's cool. So, so Butterfly, but Butterfree did not? Uh, Butterfly has everything. 
has the full gambit. He's got the whole set, so I'll take that. Okay, but the things that are paired with that, I have nothing for, so. Yeah, so you can feel free to grab whatever you want, because again, none of this matters. Also, my Oh, you're saying pick a different team to go with that team? Yeah. No, no, I'm saying that, like, okay, we have two. Oh, for the third team. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I so got gotcha. you. Absolutely. Pick, this is all temporary. 100%. <laughs> yeah, it's all 100%. We're on the same page now. Good. And let me just look over and see who's going to be the most helpful. Uh, I finally, Probably Gloom? Hello, I finally got around to giving Dave the thing. The dice the box. The dice box. Oh, I he, guess I forgot about its yeah. existence. We were going to give him the, the level up dice box, and he really he was really happy and really excited about it. And uh, nice. now, and uh, he just started using it. Use that Max's Hell yeah. What the fuck is the. Okay, that's what it is. Now we're making sense. Yeah. A little bit, anyway. Hell yes. Also, this Alakazam's still alive. You shouldn't be in the. <laughs> I know my camera's a, flipped, but it's just a, a picture. Lone Ranger. Uh, I guess it's gonna be the Gloomster. Do it up. What is that tied with? Sandshrew Gloomster is tied with. Give me the info. Show me the facts. Uh, oh, that's not a complete team. It doesn't matter. I'd okay, so you're gonna go Duosion and. Where the fuck is Gloom? Gloom, what route are you from? Jesus Christ. Why is this always a thing with my brain? Uh, route 112. Okay, show me that. Oh, it's a, I don't have a Gloom. This is a failed catch. <laughs> it just never got deleted. Son of a bitch. Releasing right now. God, Christ almighty. The best part is how any long it's taking us just to go do the thing that's going to take us forever. <laughs> oh, oh, Lunatone and Hoot Hoot. They both have hypnosis. There we go. So for you, that is your ghost and your tang. No, your ghost and your lily pad. Blah, 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 lombre. Yeah, baby. Okay. Boy, that was a that was a struggle. <laughs> do I have a Reaper cloth? That is not the question I have the ability to answer. I feel like I have or had option to buy a Reaper Cloth. That is not unlikely based on how we have things set up. Time to level these clowns. Right, yeah, I'm going to throw a couple candies in these bad boys. I forgot the Butterfree's name was Cl Clown Show. <laughs> what do you say we just go to like 20 for the catches? Because we're backtracking. I guess, yeah. Well, I mean, at a certain point, we're not backtracking, though, so I don't know. That's fair. That's fair. One of these might have to stick around, so we might as well. Hopefully not, but you never know. Yeah. Plus, it gives us more time to enchant our guests with our knowledge. Of? The metric system? Yes. Yeah. I'm actually really bad at the metric systems. <laughs> when it comes to things you use for cooking, I've gotten pretty good at them. See, that's what I want to be good at. I I like I want to start using milliliters and shit like that for for cooking, and then I hope that it'll bleed into everything else I do. See, I'm actually not super with milliliters, but you get into like, uh, you know, the the full full on liters. I'm pretty good. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I mean, I feel like if you just divide that by a thousand, you're fine. Yeah, but vi I'm talking about visually here. I can very easily get a big container and pour you a liter. I do not think I could accurately pour you a milliliter. That's fair. That's fair. I, I forgot that we named the uh, unknown single X. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's all coming back now. Oh, yeah. And paired with Clown Show is Sky Mime. Yes. <laughs> Thank God Unknown doesn't learn anything. It makes the uh, the quick level very fast. Oh, that is convenient. Its name is Waxen Gibbler. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> that 
That's a fresh fucking name right there. No, I accidentally learned over hypnosis by looking away for a second. <laughs> it's okay. Hoo Hoot still has it, but fuck me. I sure hate that. Oh, hey, I got Will O Wisp on my boy now. I don't really need Astonish if I've got Shadow Sneak. God, that was dumb. Yeah, well, we're just dumb people. That's true. Ah, you learned Psychic at level fucking 30, Lunatone? I see you. Nefertiti's is evolving. Nice. Look at that toilet paper friend. Do not unlearn hypnosis. Hey, I've got a full hoot hoot now. I've got the knocked owl. Hell yeah. Pinkus. <laughs> Fucking Pinkus. His name is Hoogie Boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pinkus and Hoogie Boy. That's very good. Hoogie Boy. <laughs> Just a little farther. Nature power. No, stop. Stop. Treating this game like a dog. Good. 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 Great. God, what level is fucking Ludicolo? Uh, Leafstone. Leafstone. Do I have a Leafstone yep. on hand? Am I just Good question? <clears throat> no. I got a Dusk Stone. <clears throat> Which doesn't help me with anything. I got a Hard Stone. <laughs> Supposed to all those Supposed soft, to the soft stone. Thank yes. you. <laughs> I'm glad we both got there. <coughs> what do I got from this guy? All oh, right, this is all just moves. This is the movesman. All right, so where are we backtracking to? Okay, let's pull up the list and start at the very top. We need to go to Rustboro City. Rustboro. Actually, that's not hard to get to because we're uh, right next to. <clears throat> oh no! Fucking Wally took us back to shitty ass Mauville. He did. South time. South time. Man, I want this. Lugani. If if this is a good team, this could be a very good add on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. There's a I'm... chance we're gonna run past a route that we are, could re-encounter on, but I'm just going in order. I don't want to get confused. Oh, God. I thought I had repels. I don't. God, this sucks. Oh, no. I didn't even think about the repels as a concept. I should have gone through all my fucking bicyclists. <coughs> so that way I could have just ridden the, the bike track, but... Oh, uh, the bike road. Uh, so I am in Slateport. Okay, <coughs> so we go, go to the side where the water be or really any part that says slate port that you can get a new encounter table on mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so here i need to teach surf to someone note very important what is the place that does slate port still name uh right here where i am i think is where you can surf and get a new encounter table i probably should name somebody a surf Uh, Ooh, to learn. <coughs> Lunatone. Oh, Pankus, no question. Boy's a water type. He, he is great with surf. And he has a fantastic special attack with a special attack boost. Good boy. Get rid of Bubble, because who gives a shit? Ooh, I want to see if I have like a scope lens I could put on this owl so that when I try to use <laughs> hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> what is funny? I'm just imagining you taking a fucking like like infrared scope and putting it on a fucking owl. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh no, I need a wide lens. Damn it! I do have a scope lens and it does nothing for me. Oh Christ! Okay, so we're surfing, right? Yes, that is. <laughs> we, we we 
most of these are surf or uh, fishing things where we ran out of encounter table. And what is this? Uh, what is this tied to? <laughs> this is paired with a Vaporeon and a Haxorus. A Vaporeon and a Haxorus. Okay. Please be. And good. now Gumi's gone, so Haxorus is a welcome member of the team. No. Oh pass. my God! Are you? Fu These are both things we already have. Okay. Recatch. Recatch. I have a full ass nose pass, and you had Skitty forever. Robo butts. Oh, there's a surfing uh, static encounter. The, the, the water does the thing. Yes. Probo again. Like, I wouldn't mind a Pro Probo. Bo I'll take it. But Pro bono pass. I mean, you have the option to take. I do. Amolga. I'd take an Amolga. I'm not like, I'm not hating on Amolga. I'm going to try it one more time to see if I get something other than Probo Pass, but if I get a Probo Pass, I'm just... <laughs> well, you can't do Dragon Dragon. Ah, shit. Yeah, god damn it. Okay. Well, uh, bye, Shellgun. That was a good timing, but bad. Still yeah. exciting to see. Yes. Might just take the Probo Pass. The Probo yeah. Pass is great. I mean, I love Probo Pass. He's a good boy. Oh, and you resist Peck, so I can Peck the business out of you. Peck the business. I'm going to peck the business out of this fly rat. <laughs> yes. Uh, ooh, what can I use that's not going to kill this baby? So oh, sleep better. Bag. Ball. Ooh, I am sitting on not a lot of balls. Slow ball. Thank God. Oh, my goodness. You know, I forgot Probopass is a pretty hard catch. True. Uh, and he's level twenty, so he can he can take a hit. Oh no! Uh, dip and sauce. Uh, electric resist fire. Uh, twin lock means we're doing all double battles, and all of our double battle teams are linked together. And right now, we're filling out some of our old squads that were uh, incomplete. Can I risk hitting this thing with a side beam? Yes. He's part steel. He will resist it. Butterfree has not the best attack. I think you'll be okay. Oh, that's great. That's a beautiful roll right there. I'll take it. Even if I crit, I got nothing to worry about. <coughs> oh, he just put himself to Also, sleep. Thank you. Emolga is also a very hard catch, but I got it. I did just realize he's probably got a rock move, so there's a real chance he could wake up and then stone my ass into the Stone Age. Yeah, he might have a rock blast, which is definitely times four on... Butterfree. Magnet Bomb I can eat. Uh, let's Sleep Powder. Miss. Magnet Bomb. Okay. I don't think he's got a rock move. I think he would have used it if he did. Sleep Powder. All right. You know, I didn't I didn't dig into the full name. Harambe did my mombe. It's not a bad title. <laughs> it's a very good name. I'm pretty cool with that. Hey, Extolja. How's it going? Who? What is good that to see you. Symbol next to Extolja. I don't know that one. Hits. Clear! We got the Yay. Mambo! Uh, one's a 13-month subscriber, and one is a 10,000 cheers. Wow. Hmm. I'll take it. Okay, let us name this squirrel and nose. Oh, man. Um, okay. Blow, a movie about uh, cocaine co starring uh, Paul Rubens. Okay. Which, to be fair, if any Pokemon was going to be named Paul Rubens, I feel like Probo Pass is at the top of that list. Okay. I, I like either going in the direction of performers with prodigious snoozes or ideas that deal with cocaine. Yes. Uh, I just I, I got right to Paul Rubens, which to me is a great space to be in, but... Yeah, I'm there with you. Because we could easily go with Jambi from there. <laughs> That's right. Where my, because my brain went right to Paul Rubens to, to Pee Wee to Jambi. Because <laughs> I'll take some Jambi juice any day. <laughs> what about Mechaleka? Mechaleka! Oh my god! <laughs> Done in one! Oh, Mechaleka. Oh, I love it. Also, the joke of it being like anime mecha. <laughs> That's pretty. Okay, what are we doing with Skyrat? Oh my god. Hi, Pickles. I'm so happy about Mechalek. <laughs> oh, she's chirping so loud right now. Uh, Hi, Pickle Puss. Whew. You have to play, Pickles. 
So the names, uh, the naming convention right now is we're just going with something related to movies. We're not going hard on naming conventions, and I think that's great because we've been coming up with some pure fucking gold. Uh, this electric sky rat. Um, hmm. Rescuers down under. Emolga makes me think of David Lee Roth. Hey, why? <laughs> just the energy he gives off. I didn't realize that Emolga had David Lee Roth energy. It totally does. You get. You have to explain. <laughs> you can't just... I do not. <laughs> <laughs> They're just getting no explanation for this. This electric sky rat is basically David Lee Roth. <laughs> you can't explain a sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you really can. Um, I'm like, look, I, I'm in this like yacht rock mindset for Emolga. <laughs> yacht rock. <laughs> I've never heard of yacht rock before. Thank you. Really? Oh, it's such a good genre. Like Hall and Oates and Van Halen and stuff. Yeah, no, that's Very fair. Very yacht rock. <laughs> also, the um, idea that Hall and Oates and Van Halen are right next to each other. <laughs> weirdly, in no other ways. What yacht. about Yacht Shock? I mean, no. I just feel like Yacht Rock is, is enough. Like, I don't think you need to go anywhere from Yacht Rock. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yacht Rock and Mechaleka is too fucking good. I'm down. Oh, Oh, that was so quick and so fresh. Uh, so that is what we can add right now with a Haxorus <laughs> and a Vaporeon. <laughs> that is a killer team. Also, if we swap that out now, I'm pretty sure Probopass has Thunder Wave and Emolga has Nuzzle, so we can continue to utilize them for catching. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, who, do you, who do you wanna, who do you? Who? Let's uh, swap out Hootie and the, the Moon Rock. Hootie and the Moon Rock. Oof. And that was with the Haxorus, you said. Yep, and for me it was a Vaporeon, so I'm going to move that right here. <clears throat> and these boys. Oh, yeah, the Haxorus has no guard, and Probopass has Aftermath. Well, I mean, if, he, if I do lose him, he's going to at least do something. Sure. Oh, God, if Olga has Levitate, that's fucking stupid. That's <laughs> so dumb. Dumb. Worthless. <coughs> it's holding on to a Latiasite. It is holding a Latiasite. That's fun. Probably never going to use that, but whatever. So, the, oh, let me put this down. Paired with a Vaporeon and Haxorus. God, that's pretty good. Is Emolga and Probopaeus. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now... We need to go to route. Let me make sure there's nothing behind here. Yeah, route 116. You know what? Temporarily, I'm just going to give this man a false swipe. Sure. He's got it. He learns you it have already. False swipe? Yeah, apparently uh, Hack Nicholson over here learns uh, fucking. Uh, what's his name? Hack Nicholson. Like, my... No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about my team. Uh, I can't remember what Vaporeon was named. Uh, smelly duvet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very good. I'm glad for that. Smelly duvet is very good. Ooh, Dragon Dance, hell yeah. Yes. Dang. Actress is so fucking broken. I'll get rid of Dragon Rage because I've got False Swipe, and I feel like the only purpose in Dragon Rage at this point is the guaranteed damage. Extolled ya, thank you. Holy shit, thank you. Wow. You are so generous with your bits. I love I, it. Ugh, it makes me feel very fresh. Oh, man. I, almost I just remembered the Vaporeon doesn't learn fucking anything because it's a stone emo. Ooh, I don't know what to get rid of. Should I get rid of Spark? <clears throat> For Power Gem? Uh, he's a oh, he's a more special attacker. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of Spark. That's that's what X told you does shows people up. Truth. Mm, rock blast. Ooh, but do I mm, rock slide or rock blast? Uh, hmm. rock slide has flinch. But rock blast has a chance for five in a row. 
And with 90% accuracy, oh, it's pretty good. The reason you do rock slide is because this is double battle format. Oh, rock slide yeah. hits both opponents. Yep, 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 yep. You're never going to see that flinch. Probo pass is slow as sin, but... <laughs> That's fair. Oh, discharge. All right. Oh, wait, but now that That's hits what everybody. She said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I'm stacked. So what's next? Um, one sixteen. Is that? I gotta do fucking map math. 116... That's what they call it. Yeah. One sixteen is to the north, southwest, east. Oh, it's weird. That's weird. That's on like. To the east of Rustboro. Interesting. Ooh, acrobatics. Sorry, I'm still using candies on my little friends. So we just did Slateport. I guess that means north and west. Okay, well, let me bust open my map. Or Why? Why? It's very loud. I, I I didn't hear it. Oh, you didn't hear it. I saw it. I saw it pop up. So you just heard me. I didn't hear it. You just yeah, heard you me just on. started fucking Tibetan throat moaning. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't have a I don't have a map. Oh, I click on the the screen. Right? Wait. I don't think I have a town map. You know, uh, you just click on the thing over here. Boink. What? Just click on the map. Okay, got it. All right, so we're going to 116. Are, are, can we? Okay, I know. Well, hold on. Want... What I was saying, what I was say, going to say is, let me look at my map and see if any of these blank ones are really close to us. Fair enough. So 109, uh, bidly b, bumbly bum. We're about to get that fucking hype train over here. We are. It's close. In this fucking in this place. Oh. We can go south of Rustboro immediately and get the 109 encounter by surfing. Oh, yeah. And that's a, it's a completely empty team. Oh, there we, you go. We couldn't find anything that wasn't on the encounter table, I believe. Isn't there one to the east of Slateport as well? Damn, with the hype. God damn. It'll take more. It'll take a lot of y'all fucking people doing this. But yes, it'll also... We also have one we could utilize to the east. I know they're going to be the highest level Surface because that's around. actually progressively in the game where you could should be going. You know, I was going to say surface on the wrong person, but I'm just going to put it on the goddamn unknown. Doesn't matter. Idiot can have whatever he wants. <laughs> uh, Goddamn, thank I'm you, putting, really? I'm putting surf on this Vaporeon immediately. I don't even know what the rules are for hype trains. I don't get it. I, I guess it's just based on your size um, and whether or not you get enough cheers in a certain amount of time. Uh, I got a Luxio, which we already have, but I could easily take another one. We do certainly have. I'm trying to remember why we have nothing for 109, but we definitely don't have anything for 109. Is it possible the Luxio that you thought was with nothing was actually this and that you lost it and so we didn't catch it? My, I wouldn't have a Luxio on this route. No, but you My route would be way different than yours. Oh, right. Fucking, what am I talking about? <laughs> well, and my Luxio was fit with Saravia in a very logical, well-documented route. Good God! <laughs> Wait, that was you. Huh? Somebody you just said Slapdash Zach <laughs> subscribed. <laughs> no, Lucky Anner gave, it, gave it a thing to me. <laughs> nice. Oh, Jesus. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's the downside of the randos. That is. I mean, to be fair, it's nice to have the, the star. I'll take it anyway. Like, I'm happy yeah. about this. We are 74% of the way to a hype train, apparently. Ooh, Tauros. That's interesting. Oh, oh. Oh, oh there it is. X told you, what are you doing over here? Holy <laughs> schmoly. <laughs> hype train, 100%. That's fun. Are we going to... So, do we want to... What did you get? Tauros... Luxio. Tauros Luxio is not a bad start. Well, we definitely don't have a Tauros. It's up to you whether or not you want to have a Luxio. It does become a Luxray at 30. 
do I want it? Do I want do I want this Luxray? Oh god. You know, I'll let I'll let y'all decide. Uh Extolgia, you get you get first pick. What's your what's your opinion? Should I catch this Luxio, which we already have one of on his teams, or should I take what's behind door number two? Also, I don't think you bought more balls. True. You are absolutely correct on that. Mm. But that's okay. I think I've got like nine Ultra Balls, so that should be more than Oh, yeah, you're great. Flexio. And then we just need to remind me to go get more. That's it. Well, no matter what, I'm going to try to catch this Tauros because it's new, it's fresh, it's something I would totally use if I needed to, and I didn't. I didn't do it. Didn't pull it off. That's fair. Stay. Cow, stay. Good. Cow, stay good. You can't catch them, you won't know balls. I get it. Huh? Uh, no balls is like a I dare you now, according to the internet of culture. You no, know, is that a new is that the new the new phrase, the new shit? It's newish. Alright, it still just says catch it. Okay. The time has come. Put this idiot to sleep. <clears throat> And while you're throwing balls at that very blue cat, I'm going to start thinking of cow names. Should I hit it with a Psybeam? Yeah. Is it going to live the Psybeam? An anonymous cheerer cheered three. What? Anonymous? Oh, I almost lost it. Oh, no, he's confused. <coughs> he's also asleep, though, so that's fine. Good God, they just keep going with this shit. With the cheers and the love and the support and the greatness. The rocket didn't look like a rocket for a second to me. Is it all dicks? It's all dicks. It's just dicks top to bottom. Oh, the we're, so we're at a level five hype train. Oh, oh good this. God. Or are we trying to get a five now? Is that the, is that the play here? I'm pretty sure it's a unicorn. Uh... What should I name this weird electric child? What should I name this cow? What if I named it? What if I named it? Hey, dude. Uh, hey, dude is awesome. What can we do to hey, dude? Uh, hey, dude, dude don't make it bad. <laughs> um, I mean, there's there's a bevy of cow-based Curly, entertainment. Curly's Gold. Curly's Gold. Okay. <laughs> City Slickers Two: The Legend of Curly's Gold. I knew the reference. I'm just. I'm. This is for them. For them, this, right? This is for our uneducated. This is for our uneducated populace. Those who aren't like deeply learned in the masterpiece that is City Slickers Two: Legend of Curly's Gold. Okay, here's here's my premise. Here's what we're going with. We're okay. looking for. A part two to a movie that had a full title that we can play with. Because I will name this thing Gold Curly. <laughs> Gold Curlies? But we need a sequel to a movie that we can name Luxio after by changing some stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, Electric Boogaloo is a little obvious, but also very funny. It is very funny, but we got to be able to turn it into something. So what's what can we transform Electric Boogaloo into? Well, let's, let's look at some other... Sequel names. Yes. To get some juice. Speed 2 didn't have a name. It was There was no subtitle for Speed 2. It's just Speed 2 on a uh, boat. Home, Home Alone 2 was lost in New York. Yes. Yes. Um, no shit. What are some good, like... Die Hard with a Vengeance. Right. Uh... 69, nice, Hurley. Very beautiful. What are you, X told you, what are you doing? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. The mask, son of mask. Son of mask. <laughs> I mean, are you, okay, please tell me you're on a list of worst sequels of all time. No, I'm not. I, I don't even know what I'm on. Is there a Mamma Mia 2? Is there? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> a good day to die hard. That was that was one of the sequels. Oh, wasn't I it? know a sequel name that would be funny. Hit the me. sequel to Zapped. Zapped, Zapped again. <laughs> Zapped again. 
Is it Zacked again now? Um, what what is? I mean, Zapped again. It's just. I feel like there's more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh my god! Thank you, everybody, for fucking like two entire hype train levels. Chode yeah, y'all are fucking blowing <laughs> my goddamn mind. Chode Warrior definitely got me. Chode goes, Warrior is pretty good. It goes very perfectly with the earlier conversation of ball boxing. Mmm, that does, yeah. Well, I'm going to put in curly go a golden curly right now. Golden curly. I feel like Chode Warrior is pretty fucking good. If it fit. Yeah, that'll fit. That'll fit. Chode Warrior. I love it. Oh, and it fits perfectly. Nice. Chode Warrior, I love you. So now we get another catch to pair with this. First, I'm going to put it down, though. Okay, 109. Tauros. I have to save. Luxio. So I... Could you do me a favor and save your game so we don't lose progress? <laughs> Absolutely. Just in case, because we've had a shocking number of, like, unexpected crashes. Oh, no, I had a swimmist. Oh, man, and we missed the opportunity to name it the Squeak Wall. <laughs> That's tragic. I will take Chode Warrior, though. That's great. And Squeak will have to come up at some point. <laughs> I didn't realize Alvin and the Chipmunks 2 was the Squeak Wool. I thought that was uh, Stuart Little or whatever. No, I don't think Stuart Little has ever been that creative. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> oh, my God. I received level 5 hype train emote. I don't even know what it is. Choo Choo with a little rabbit. Or cat? It's one of the ones Twitch gives you automatically. <coughs> oh, man. Show me another catch. Keep surfing. Keep surfing. We catching again? We on it? Yeah, we, there's two here. We're on this hotness. I had to get over, had to get over that fight with a swimmist. Yes. Please, 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 please. Oh, it's the ice cream friend from before. I mean, it's a really good choice. Like, I'll it take is. it. I can't no, do No, I'm not sad about it. I can't do Luxio 2 Electric Boogaloo. Just have two Luxios on the same team. <laughs> <clears throat> That's where they introed the Chipettes. Okay. Chipwrecked. That's weak. Chipwrecked. Still didn't buy balls. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you, sir. What? There's still a sailor here that wants my nuts? He wants them and he will have them. God, Psybeam, let me just ace these idiots. Put them in a toilet. Stop using Uproar. I almost killed my fucking butterfly. <laughs> what a loss. Hey, ice cream. God, fucking this unknown can't do shit. No, it's more unknown. This beautiful toilet child. Oh, that's good. Is it actually what it is, or was that a clever joke from you? What was it? Dipping sauce. Uh, it said, did you see my follow-up on Mamma Mia 2? It's called, yes, here we go again. <laughs> that's very good. And I don't know if that's what they actually did, or if that's a clever joke from Dip. Either way, pure brilliant. Hey, Reaper Claw, fuck yeah. There it is. Do I have a leaf stone? I thought I fucking did. Wow, so that's real. Okay. Wow. Cool. Here we go again. That's perfect. Mm. The lowest hanging fruit for them, but I mean, I'll give it to them. <clears throat> Ice cream name. Ice cream name. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> okay. I was going for Baskin Robbins, and I was like, no, nah, too obvious. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. Cookie Puss. Oh, Cookie Bussy. Excuse me? Co cookie Bussy. Because <laughs> Cookie Bussy is the fucking ice cream cake. And you go with Cookie yeah. Bussy. Cookie Bussy. <laughs> I, I mean, can't there's also anything. Cookie Cat, which is the ice cream cat. Yeah, but that's 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 a fucking Steven Universe reference. I mean, come on. As opposed to Cookie Puss? I mean, but Cookie Puss comes up in so many. Luxios. What the fuck? There's got to be a second thing on this encounter table, right? The mother was dead. The daughter was getting married on the island, and Cher made an appearance at the end of the, as grandmas. Uh, well, hold on. Dipping sauce. He, uh, how how versed are you on Mamma Mia and its uh, filmography? 
How, how deep are you in the mama verse? <laughs> go for the uh, go for the static pop up thingy. Oh, that is that is. We are it's a guaranteed new catch. You have to sneak. All right. Here I go. <laughs> you, have to, you have to wet sneak. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. It's really it's really annoying. There we go. It's oh clown sh clown shows taken on the clown show. Ooh, okay. This okay. thing can wreck my entire balls off. Nah, you times four resist fighting with Butterfree. Uh, he learns rock moves. Oh, he does. Early on, sure. he learns like rock slide and rock smash. Yep. Or not rock smash, uh, whatever. But I'm going to I'm gonna try and open with a sleep powder. Oh, I didn't buy any more balls, by the way. Just so you know. I just You got the, the Reaper cloth. I skipped the balls because I was so excited about a Reaper cloth. Love you some ABBA. Good. <clears throat> I mean, you that should. Is amazing. There's no reason you shouldn't love ABBA. Um, Hack Nicholson. Who can I send in that can eat shit, but also like not wreck its butthole? Hack Nicholson has false swipe, so I'm going with that. I hate how vascular this clown is. Mm -hmm. I like how one of the veins on his arm looks like a Y to indicate how masculine his chromosomes are. Yes. He has three Y chromosomes. Uh, false swipe didn't do jack shit. <laughs> Please get wrecked, you stupid clown. That was pretty good for a low kick. Um, careful, Johnny, now. This, this doesn't fit. There's fucking rock throw, by the way. <laughs> I thought I had something clever, but it doesn't fit. You were going to say the dairy of Anne Frank? Yeah. Ooh, critical hit on that one. Not liking that. He doesn't have takedown or anything, does he? I don't think so. I hope he doesn't have anything with recoil, because if he kills himself, I'm going to be pissed. All right, balls. Ulch. Give it to him. Shaken. Oh, come on! Ah, I can't send out Sleep Child. Uh, Clown Show will get completely destroyed. Mecha Lecha, I think, has Thunder Wave. Has Thunder Wave, but he's got... He does, but fighting, fighting type moves. is times four. This is a, this is going to be a tough one, man. It's, a, it's fucking one HP, and it, like, shook once. Yeah, he's a tough clown. I think you can throw, like, two more balls before you have to worry too much. Yeah. Bag. Ball. Ulch, go. Do it. Do it. Get in the ball. Shake a. Shake a. Give me one more. Oh. Excellent. I love it. Let's see here. We got Bozo the Clown. We got Pennywise. We got. Oh, there's got to be something with Pennywise in there. Like sh sh Shreddy Wise. Uh, um. Just think. He's such a big, thick man. This, this Ronald. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You've got to make Flurry, and I've got Ronald McDonald. What are we doing okay. with that? What? There's this one's name is machines. This one's name is Broken Machine. Broken Machine, but that's we can do better than that. Um. So, God, what would you? What name would you give a swole ass Ronald McDonald? Um, let's see. Big Mac. <laughs> Big Mac. <laughs> Big Mac. <laughs> oh, fuck. Big Mac. Is... No, no. Okay. Okay. So it's Big Mac and MC Flurry. Oh, fuck. Yes. Big Mac and MC Flurry. Is, should I do it with a K with the Mac or just Mac? M A C M A C. M-A-C? Yeah, M-A-C. Should it be Biggie Mac? Ooh, yeah, for MC Flurry, Biggie Mac and MC Flurry. Biggie Mac and MC Flurry. Fuck yes. Biggie Mac. So writing this down. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. Tauros goes with Vanillux. And Luxio goes with uh the middle one. Gerder, that is a Fucking monster team. 
It's pretty good. We have so much to go, though. We can't even start to lock in. No, I'm just so excited about that No, team. totally, totally. What I want to see is what we can get on Route 107, wherever that is. 107 is... Okay, all we have to do is go to Duford Town, which is... Mr. Briney should be on the dock, right? Easy. Easy. Because that's my Zam and your Carvana, and I've got the Zamite. That's fresh. It's real good. Is Briny on the dock? Briny's not on the dock. We have to fucking make Briny get to the dock. Don't tell me I gotta swim my ass there. There's gonna be a million encounters. I hate that. Don't make me do that. No, we're not gonna do that. Let's go. Let's tr dip our toes into the eastern route to see what's there. But keep in mind, they're gonna be high level, so buy some balls. Buy balls. 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 Buy balls. Balls. All balls. Big balls. Bye bye. Bye bye balls. Bye bye balls. Goodbye okay, balls. No more. Going to the vet. Bye bye balls. I'm gonna buy ten ultra balls, which will give me an extra premier ball. Uh, I'm gonna try to sell some shit. I feel like by now I've earned some some cells. Max revive right there. We got some cash. More revives. I'll take it. Not gonna sell the max elixir. Revival herb I can sell. God. Figure out what route number this is. I just don't feel like I have enough I can sell. That's not a tall stack, my friend. 134. I can't sell. <laughs> thank you for the balls. Um, one balls. Thank you for the balls. You can sell a pixie plate. You got two of them. I did. Do. Do. Alakazite. I don't need that. Right? It's 5,000 in your pocket. Yeah, I'm not going to hold out for an Alakazam. Soul Dew is only 100. Hound Dew might. You've already got a Hound Doom, and I doubt I'm going to want it over anything else. Nuggets, I got some. That's some fresh money. Nuggets was made for selling. I don't really need Pokeball. Poke Toy. And Star Pieces was also made for selling. Star Pieces was made for selling. And that's just what they'll do. Ball Mushroom was made for selling. Nice. Okay, that is a lot of cash. I can definitely work with this. Buy Ulchi. Give me another 10. And that gives me 26 Ultra Balls, which I think will last me fine. Uh, the living embodiment of Spring Break is standing here. That's great. Mm. It's ready to go. <sighs> We laughed so much. I feel like I'm I'm spent. I, I've hit that like no more guffaws left. We've also been stopping at eight, and it's eight. Yes, let's do one more catch, and then we'll save the rest for the beginning of the next one. Well, let's do one more double catch. Yes, one more double catch. Yes. Otherwise, I will get confused. I'm gonna go for this static. I'm gonna sneak up on it. <coughs> Never mind. Just kidding. <clears throat> Rolls. Ooh, hell yeah. Oh, it's Hot Monkey. <laughs> the Hot Monkey. We couldn't have had... We just can't have anything nice. Uh, this, yeah, we don't have any Hot Monkeys yet. This thing times four resists Psychic, so I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a Psybeam. Times two. Times two? I thought because uh, he's Psychic and Fairy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, Fairy doesn't resist Psychic. Oh, it doesn't? Shit. Okay. Can, can I? Okay, should I not then? I think I'll still take it. It's nah. pretty... If, if, It'll, it'll probably do, like, half at most. Okay. Take the risk. Don't die. Don't die, don't it's die. It's only a 10 level gap. Yeah, okay. There we, there we go. We're fine. I was about to say I should just do false swipe, but I think we're good. I'm going to try a Premier Ball. He's a baby, Mon. He might be able to... He's, I might be able he's to so baby. I might be able to swing this baby. One. Duh. Trace. Got it. Like, if this monkey has a busted-ass ability, it's, it's usable. Yeah. I mean, shit. I'll take it. You don't have to take it. You have a guard of one. I have to take it. Fair. I get this very hot monkey. Okay. Um. Oh, inappropriately sexy fairy girl. Uh, or Abba songs. Or dancing queen. Abba songs dancing queen. Well, here's the only problem with that. What if I want to go with a Garda 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 boy? If you can't man. think of its name, you have to lock into Gardevoir right now. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> 
Well, hold on. Is 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 masculine Gardevoir better? Depends on what you need. Yeah, yeah. I think universally Gardevoir is better, but Gallade's pretty fucking cool. Gallade, thank you. Abba dabba do. Uh, I mean, Dancing Queen is pretty great, but there's not, there's no joke there. True. Um, Tiny Dancer. Okay, so we're, we can go Elton John. Dancer and Vixen. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm in that Santa space now. <laughs> Dancer, Prancer and Vixen? No? Uh-huh. Um... Don't pigeonhole Gallade. Let's see. How about large dancer? <laughs> Oversized dancer. Dancer XL? <laughs> dancer Deluxe? <laughs> dancer Grande? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Dancer Deluxe got me, but that's just that uh, uh, alliteration. What about? Okay, hold on. Let's let's nail down this hot monkey because I feel like that's gonna set the tone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about Red Hot American Monkey? That's not gonna fit. <laughs> Watch me. I'm just kidding. Red Hot USA Monk. <laughs> Red Hot US Ape. <laughs> U.S. Ape is very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh. I got I got room to stretch out now. <laughs> <laughs> Red hot U.S. Ape. <laughs> okay. I like that the A in USA is just ape too. It's yes. Good. Is there anything I can do for Red Hot American Summer? Or wet hot American. Or just another movie of that, like Porky's or something. You know? Porky's. <laughs> Porky's two. Was there a name for Porky's two? Was there? There's like gotta a... be Porky's two. No, there Still is Porky. a There is a Porky's two, but I couldn't remember if there was. No, also I know. A... The next day. Okay, that's not funny. It's. I think Still Porkin would have been a better Still, name. Still Pork. Okay, hold on. Can I just name it Still Porkin? <laughs> yes, of course. Of course you can. Still you do not need to ask permission to name your Gardevoir still Porkin. Why would you need that? <laughs> oh, and it fits perfectly. Look at that. Oh, good. Still Porkin. And Red Hot USA. <laughs> Very special. <laughs> See, you weren't you weren't done yet. There was still giggles to be made. <laughs> Still laughs. Oh, still hot goofs. Jesus, X told you. X told you. Ooh, Lantern. Nobody, That's a very good Pokemon. Nobody ever told me that when X told you it was going to be a fan, that X was going to give it to me. I'm pretty sure you were warned several times that X was going to give it to you. <laughs> I think you were. <coughs> Another Ralts. You could have a Gardevoir and a Gallade. There you go. But I would. I, there's no other name for it. I could have to. Uh, mm. I do love uh, Lantern. Lantern does rule ass. <coughs> so good. Lantern's so good. I'm just gonna throw an Ultra Ball to not. If I don't get hey. something else right now, oh. <coughs> I'll have to wait for one of the little static heads to pop up. Anybody else? Kingdra is not bad. Especially since it has the potential to become a uh, Seedra. Wait. I mean, Seedra is good. It can become a Kingdra. Water type, unfortunately. Uh, What's wrong with that? We can't both have a water type on our team. Oh, I thought he was primary electric. No. If he evolves, though, does he become primary dragon? Normally, we'd have to both re-encounter, but given your circumstance that you've already caught it without waiting... I'll go ahead and find the, the static encounter. What? I don't think that's a bad thing. I didn't even... We haven't encountered in this we're whole playthrough the same typing very we're much. We're supposed to encounter together. Um, 
but that's okay. I'll just I'll just slowly hump this fucking whale until I find something to catch. Come on. How come there's no static heads for you? I had a bunch. <clears throat> oh, oh, it's just on the opposite side of the level, I'm guessing. They don't usually spawn next to me. Oh! Ooh, I'll take a Marowak! The it's the bone! I will take the bone man. Bone man. It's a, it's a good bone. I was trying to think of another lyric for Spoon Man, and I couldn't. I had nothing. Spoon Man? Because, yeah, I, I did Bone Man, but Spoon Man, nothing. You know the song Spoon Man, right? I don't. I don't what? think. How did you, wait, hold on. How did you make it through the 90s without hearing, spo uh, like, Spoon Man? Same as everyone else. Man, I, I put my pants on one leg at a time like everyone else. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I can't argue with that. You should hear Spoon Man. It's a, what, Soundguard? No. No, fuck. Who was that? Is it Pearl Jam? No, fuck. Uh, it's There's a those... fair chance I've heard it, and I just don't realize it's called Spoon Man. I mean, it's it's literally the guy says Spoon Man a lot, so it would be shocked if you had heard mm. it and you're like, oh, I had no idea that's what the song was called. Soundgarden. I think I'm pretty sure it's Soundgarden. Um, you'll just have to listen to Spoon Man. Fair enough. It's very '90s, 2000. Thank you, Extol you. Thank you, Bree. I'm not opposed. I'm, I'm not opposed. I couldn't. I wasn't sure if it was Soundgarden. And I didn't want to be that guy who wrongly guesses a song and everybody just shits, shits on me. You know, there's a there's a fair amount of things from that time that are very Soundgarden adjacent. It's pretty easy to get mixed up. There's a reason why I was like, it could have also been Pearl Jam, or it could have also been like any of these other fucking bands. Right. Hey, you caught the rock baby, the stone skull boy. The little ground kangaroo. Um, <coughs> okay. Skull on so, head. And this is a, a fish with a dangler, a glowy dangler. I'm starting off with Bam Bam. Okay. And that immediately makes me think of Hook and Rufio for some reason. Of course. So Rufio just yeah. popped into my head. Zombie, you cannot ask me oh, to sing something. Oh, name it Bangarang. Bangarang. Oh, Bangarang. Hell yeah. That's yes. such a good fucking Cubone name. Oh, my fucking God. That's good. Bangarang. I can't in. believe my brain just did that. God. Okay, oh. well, let's pick maybe like another um, movie of that ilk to... Name this Ching, this is this Chin Chow after Goonies. Goonies, okay. Who Anything fee? from Goonies? Oh, uh, wet, uh, one eyed Willie. One eyed Willie, okay, that's something. Sloth, sloth, chunk. Mm hmm, <laughs> chunk, chunk. Never, I've never, I've never watched the entire movie of the Goonies. Wow. So you haven't heard Spoon Man. Are you sure you just, did you just skip the 90s? Did you just jump no, right into the 2000s? No, look, when I was like 20, I was aware that everyone was suddenly like, I can't believe you've never watched the Goonies. And then out of spite for just a long time, I was like, fuck That's it, I'm not going to watch the Goonies. I don't blame anybody for not watching the Goonies, but I am shocked when it happens. I'm just like, really? Hey. Sure. And like, I bet I could fake the whole like script and analysis of the Goonies having never watched it. Oh it's yeah, very I'll... indoctrinated into modern culture. It is it is is ubiquitous and it is also very predictable. <laughs> uh, so what about other like Robin Williams movies of that era? Uh, Flubber, which we've already Flubber. done. Flubber, we've. Uh... I wonder how close together were Flubber and Hook made. I'm curious in my mental timeline. I, I feel like very very close. Definitely um... not too far. Away. There's also a uh, shit. Ooh, Bis Doubtfire. Bicentennial Man. I yep. believe I've, I believe we've tapped the Doubtfire train a little few too many times. Um, Maybe. When did we reference Doubtfire? I don't mean I. We. I believe we literally named something Doubtfire at one point or another. Um, okay. Robin Stick is that a reference to Robin Thicke? <laughs> Jack. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jumanji. Uh, okay. Van Pelt. Well, see, so Bangarang is a reference from within the movie, so that's what this needs to be. We just need to pick pick the right film. Uh, yes, that is difficult. Mm, what's got? What's just got like a good call out like vibe from a 
Robin Williams movie. I never saw it. I, I almost said smoking, but I'm like, Jim Carrey and Robin Williams are definitely not the same human. They are not the in same In any guy. universe. Oh, boy. And, and yet, Although I often, could go with, like... They're often, like, set by side by side, though, because of their, like, ability to go into serious roles, and they're both, like... Exactly. They're, they're but the, they're so different. Yeah, very different. Although I could do, like, some sort of Ace Ventura reference. Uh, yes, you could. You absolutely could. What would it be like? All righty then? Like that's nothing. No, there's, nothing there's nothing there. He also really oh, uh, Snowflake was the name of the dolphin in mm -hmm. Ace Ventura. Dan Marino. Yeah, the funniest line in that entire movie is the dolphins lose the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan Marino gosh. is a major focus in that. Um, transphobia is a major theme in that movie. Oh, um, so big. Which, uh, man, I just really wish that wasn't a part of it, because it's a pretty fucking good movie. Yep. Yep. Like a Glove, yes. Chicago. That's that's definitely uh, number two, for sure. Uh, Bumblebee Tuna. That's fine, Bumblebee Tuna, okay, okay. Bumblebee Tuna, and he's so, he's so, you know. Thank you, X told you. I got, I got there first, but I love you. I gotta go all caps with the Bumblebee Tuna. Yes. Can you lock in caps? Bumblebee tuna. Can you lock in caps in this? Uh, I don't think you can. Oh wait, uh, try changing your your view. Yeah, that might let you do it. Or try pressing select. I think that might. I got it. Caps up. Ah, there you go. <coughs> Is this gonna fit? N uh, what? TNA. Uh, bumble. Oh, bumblebee tuna. There you go. That's rock solid. Bangarang and Bumblebee Tuna. That's pretty great. Okay. Uh, let me put this down. So this is Route 130. Boy, we're way up here. Is this 134 or 135? Blah, 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 blah. Checking. 134. So all across the board, we have Simi Seer. Uh, Lantern, Raltz, and whatever you just got. Bangarang is Cubo. Yes. God damn. I can't so. believe I got a Girder, Luxray, fucking Gardevoir, and Marowak. That is a killer set. Yeah. These have all been pretty fucking solid. Mm hmm. What was the Zubat tied to that I have? That is tied with my Flareon, and it is an unlinked team. Okay, good. That would have been 116, which we were heading to. Right, right. But we also <coughs> have um, TDLD wait, paired with 18. Paired with 18. 118. I'm just going to put all these good new ones right next to each other. Oh, yeah, I also got a Probo, Probo Pass Haxorus, so this is all fresh. Um, so we still need to do 107. Not that we're doing it today. All day, it's a 116 Rust Turf Tunnel. Mm-hmm. What is and my, what is my side one oh seven? Your side duck. What route? That is Granite Cave. <clears throat> granite Cave. You might have put it as Gold Duck. I got nothing in Granite Cave for us. You know it doesn't have an. Oh, it's Estevez because the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> ah yes. <laughs> Let me check and see what I have for that cave and then I'll figure out what I'm missing. Fair enough. I feel like it might have been a fail. <coughs> I mean, I marked all the other fails. Um, or it might have been a token. It might have been a token. Might have been a token. Something. One twelve. Granite cave, granite cave, granite cave. I got nothing. I'm just going to put it in the toilet then. Goodbye. I'm just going to assume it was a failed catch. I also have a Psyduck. Why do we have Psyducks? I don't know. Whatever. Um, cool. So, I mean, I feel like this is a really great place for us to call it. Uh, next week, I guess we'll... 
do this BZ again. Is there nothing happening next week to keep us from doing that? That's awesome. Yeah, that's just we. I mean, we can try to sleep lock it. Dude, there's too much to go. I mean, I'm I'm kind of down. Yeah, we could start I'm it. Kind of down. We could start it earlier, you know, and just just yeah. chug. And then, yeah, what? because then the week after that, mm. Mm, we got it. Big business. Oh boy. Um, so off camera, I'll probably go back to Duford Town and catch my missing chunk for the Deli Bird Tangrowth team. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I can record it or whatever to keep it legit. Nah, you're fine. I trust you. Or I can just plug my Haunch Crow in there. <laughs> Fingers crossed. No, I'm not going to make you use a Deli Bird, and I do want to use Haunch Crow. So. Yes. Cool. Um, yeah, there's a few catches for us to get. Yeah, man. And so that's the story. We'll try to work out what we want to do with next week, but for now, this has been absolutely fantastic. We've got some of the best fucking names we've seen in the entire game. Thank you for the hype train. That was oh. big love. Like I think it was like a double hype train, too? Good God. It was like a tier five hype train or something. I told you, your, your generosity is uh, absurd and ridiculous. Uh, everybody and, else. And, uh, contagious, apparently. Yeah, and contagious. Good. Thank you guys so much. Uh, if you haven't already checked it out, please check out the LUQ.com for all of our podcasts and all of our good shit. Uh, I'm not going to bog you down with a bunch of goodbye bullshit. Law, do you have a sign off for us? Sign off these nuts. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it worked last time. <laughs>